evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another edition of Darts Night on Twitch here, presented by the FODL, the first online dart league, the FODL. I'm your man, Rob, a.k.a. Radar, going to be hanging out with you in the booth this evening, and we're going to be here all night long. All night long, all night because we got triple header action for you. Two Fodal C matches followed by a Fodal A division match. And with the addition to Fodal E, we've restructured some of them. So Fodal C is going to be playing a few more legs. Fodal A is still playing nine. Uh, but Fodal C is bumped up to eight. So will we see the ties that we saw all last season in Fodal B when we get to Fodal C? We'll see. Ha! 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 Let's check out who our first match is between these two Fodal C slingers. It's going to be the Madhouse throwing out of Harrisonburg, Virginia. Last season finished in the 11th spot in Fodal B, was relegated down to the Fodal C division. He is throwing with the 22-gram designer Razor Grip darts. Hashtag double trouble. He is going up against Hacksaw. Hacksaw is a new player for the winter 2021 season. He earned his way into Fodal C by winning some playoff victories out of the rookie tournament. And he earned his way into the, uh, what was, I believe was the DC promotion playoffs. And he got through that to get into Fodal C. He's thrown with 20 gram Mission Rebus Darch. Hashtag hack it up. Let's go ahead and look at the standings as we are here in Photo C. We have had a couple matches played so far. Doughboy on the ball. He's actually played two matches, so he's got a match in hand over everybody else. He's won a total of 10 legs, which is good for 20 points. Rolling 20s in second with 12. The Kilf with 8. Pepe Lay and the Lush each with 4 points apiece. Madhouse, Fireman, Criminal, DJ, Hacksaw, and the Accountant all yet to play let's look at the schedule game week one here in photo c division again so this is going to be match number three out of the five for game week one as you see we have 11 players in each division uh except for photo a and photo e so b c and d all have 11. actually we might have 11 in e i don't know but uh that's going to result in some bye weeks so accountants on a buy, but we got Madhouse and Hacksaw in match number three. Match number four going to be following this one, uh, Criminal and Fireman, and then DJ Mike Hughes and the Kilf will wrap up game week one tomorrow. Looking at the bonus points that have been set so far in cricket, the highest cricket throw is Doughboys for the moment, seven mark, rolling twenties with a two point seven seven MPR cricket leg. In the 501 categories, the fewest dart leg is Rolling 20s with a 17 darter. Doughboy, Lush, and Rolling 20s. Considering they all have it, I'm going to guess it's a 140. I'm going to guess, but it's kind of boxed out here. I went over to the spreadsheet. I clicked on it. You see the box now highlighted. It is confirmed 140. And Rolling 20s with an even 100 out. Let's look at the stats. I did not decide to be lazy like Dilly, so I pulled up last season's stats, and it includes Hacksaw's playoff run, so that's where we're getting his. So, again, it's a little bit skewed, maybe, where it's a smaller sample size for Hacksaw than it is for Madhouse, but we can look at what they did last season or in the postseason. Madhouse was 19th best last season with a 2.13 MPR. Hacksaw would have been good for 30th with a 1.96 Miss percentage, 45% for Madhouse, 50 for Hacksaw. Treble and bull percentage are, are the same, and the higher scoring going towards Madhouse. In 501, Madhouse, a slight edge there as well, 26th in the league. Hacksaw would have been 30th. Madhouse, 47.35. Hacksaw, 44.96. First nine's very close, 53.8 to 53.3. Finishing... You see the average finish a little low for Hacksaw, so maybe some double trouble, which is Ma Madhouse's hashtag, so playing right into his hands, as it were. Uh, but the power scoring is pretty similar with the ton plus percentage. Without further ado, the 21 viewers out there, 21 of you, I'll take a drink to that, including DJ Mike Hughes, King Raj 10, Slappy Pappy T80, DeGrubbs86, and the Fireman, who just subscribed to Tier 1, subscribed for eight months on a seven-month streak. Thank you very much, Fireman. Uh, including those people, you're ready for the darts. 
So let me go ahead and bring my player audio back in here, and we'll get this one ready if our players are ready to go. Hacksaw, are you ready? Ready. Madhouse, are you ready? Ready, ready. Both of our players are ready, which means it's time to get darts in the air. C Division matchup, eight legs, two cricket, six of five of one. Madhouse has the darts to throw first. Game on. Shoot well, buddy. Shoot well, Madhouse. Oh, and right off the bat, a fallout of the board. See ya for Madhouse. He gets things started with a single 20. It stuck that second dart right on top, but it just didn't have the oomph to stay in the sizzle. 20s. And Hacksaw's going to go after the 20s aggressively here. He'll get three steady singles. You get the wedge closed. Madhouse recovers here in this one as he gets two 20s to close it up behind and moves down to 19s where he gets a single as well. And this is the only match we have for the 8 o'clock time slot across any of our divisions, so it will just be this one. We won't have any around the league darts at the moment. A nice slop treble 17 for Hacksaw. So he gets it closed, had a stray 16 in there as well. Could not find anything in the 19th, so it's still available for Madhouse. He's working on it, but he's going to manage just one finding a couple of threes to go with it. The train photo talking about how Madhouse is throwing on a unicorn, unicorn board. He tried to hide it, but he can see it. Uh, King Raj saying, yeah, wouldn't you try to hide it if you were throwing on one? So some shade at the unicorn board really early. It's happening already. But again, we've had a, he had a fallout on the first throw, so maybe warranted. Stray 16, single 19 for Madhouse. Answering back after Hacksaw had gotten a single 16 and a single 19. Hacksaw's going after the 19, so he's not concerned with the points. He'll get it closed with the flourish. Found the treble, but it's already closed, so it's not going to help. And he moves over to 17s, trying to get points, but he missed. So still no points on the board. Madhouse moving over to 18s. There's a big dart from Madhouse. He'll find the treble 18 over the top with the last. So he gets the first points on the board with 18s done. However, Hacksaw had that slop 17 already looking to score there. But he's going to come up empty. So it's a big miss from Hacksaw. Going to give Madhouse an opportunity. See how he elects to play. He's going after the 17s being aggressive. First dart's in, the second dart misses. Let's see where he goes with the third. He goes back up for more points with the third, so like that. Single 17, single 18 for Madhouse. Hacksaw now another attempt to get points on the board. He'll have some. How many will he get? There's 34. He's got one dart in hand. It's going to be 51. Three steady single 17s, and Hacksaw is back out in front after the slack visit. But Madhouse, brilliant first start, treble 18. Move it back down to 17s again, looking for the close. He's got the first, and he's got the second. It's a five mark, including the close of 17s for Madhouse to get back out in front, get the wedge closed. Hacksaw on the move. He's already got a couple of slop 16s in there, so the slops working in Hacksaw's favor right now. He gets a single to get it closed, but can't get any points on the board. Madhouse has a single slop. So can he get a close? He didn't even need the slop because he found the treble 16 narrowly back-to-back -back five marks. That one is just below as it finds the treble two. But the important thing is he got the treble 16 closed in front of Hacksaw, did not allow him to point on it. So Hacksaw going over to 15s where it's uncharted territory. He manages two on his first visit. Madhouse, we know this is his normal strategy, likes the surgeon-esque strategy where if you got the point lead, just go after the other wedge. Just a single and another wrong side of the wire. Next door neighbor treble for Madhouse as he found a treble 10. Hacksaw looks like he's going to find a treble 15, though. So there are five 15s. That gets him back out in front. So Hacksaw... Going to draw out the point battle. Not going to go quietly here. Madhouse back up to 18s. He'll need another one to get the point lead back. But that looks low into the four. Just a single. So Hacksaw now comes to the board with a three-point lead. He's going after 18s. He did for his first start, dropping back down to 15s after the miss. But he misses on the 15s as well. So nothing earned for Hacksaw. Madhouse, there's a single 18. 
He's dropping back down again. Will he stay for the hero guard? Will he go back up top? He went back up top for 18th, but similar on the move. Missed. So single 18 this time for Madhouse. That will get him back out in front. Axaw now. He's going out for 15s, staying for two. Went for the hero dart on the third, but missed. Two 15s for 30 points. Puts him back out in front. There's big dart from Madhouse, though. Nice visit from Madhouse. Single 18, the treble 15 to close, and that looks like a single bull just left of the bullseye. But pressure applied. Madhouse within two darts of the leg. Actually, within one dart of the leg. If you could find the bullseye, it's just needed as one. A single green bit, 25 for Hacksaw. He's going to need to get it closed and get one extra at the minimum and still have to close 18s. Madhouse right next to the bull but can't center it up. So Hacksaw getting another visit still has life. Needs at least three to take the lead. Miss. And it will be a miss on his second visit, so no harm, no foul from Madhouse. There's a good first. Can he follow it with a second? And it's going to be a pop, pop finish for Madhouse. Game shot. And the leg going to Madhouse as he finds two in the single bull with his first two darts to get the hold of throw. A good, good little point battle. Bruin went back and forth there for a little bit on the 19s, 18s, and then the, the 18s and 15s ended up being a turning point as well. But it's Madhouse taking a one to nothing lead. Let's see how the second leg goes. Hacksaw to throw first. Game on. Raj and Train talking about the different boards that they have, as is DJ. He's getting in on there. DJ MyQ is saying Madhouse loves cricket. These are facts. That is factual information. King Raj says, go get points, doofus. I mean, I love you. And then says, tidy, way to make me eat my words. Speaking of eating the words, there's a nice five mark to start things off for Madhouse. 420, single 19. So he closes, gets points on. Hacksaw is going out for the 20, so he'll get it closed. Found the treble with the last, but again, Madhouse already got it closed on his first visit, so will not add points to the total. But Madhouse is going to leave the door open a little bit here on the second as it's going to be a miss. So Hacksaw's got it closed, so Madhouse at least can't extend the point lead. 119. Just single 19 for Hacksaw. Madhouse once again looking to get out in front. There's the closure of 19s. He moves over to 18s. Three steady singles from Madhouse. Gets the 19s closed. Gets a single in the 18. Hacksaw is going to go over to 17s. So that's that's playing like a lot of the Canadian players. We know that Train frequently does this where he bypasses the 18. He prefers the 17s right after the 19s because you've been thrown at the bottom half of the board. It's a more comfortable move for him. Madhouse gets the 18s closed. Looks like the two 17s still coming in from Hacksaw. Maybe some connectivity issues, but there we go. We got it across, and then there's the two 18s in there from Madhouse. He missed the 17. 119. A single 19 this time from Hacksaw, so maybe looking to close another wedge behind, but Madhouse has a couple wedge advantage, and that's going to help a treble 17 with his first dart. It's a four mark from Madhouse, three 17s and a single 16. As he continues to plug along, looking very strong here again in the early goings of the cricket portion. Hacksaw had a good run on the 15s last time, and he's going to put in a good run here, six 15s. Coming in for Hacksaw, a pair of treble 15s on the left side of the board, and that puts him out in front in points for the time being. Madhouse, a bunch of wedges to work with, but sevens and threes do not count, so no points over on Madhouse's side. So Going to have some decisions. Looked like... Maybe going after the left side with the first, but then come back over to 15s for darts two and three. Single 15 earned for him.
Train asking if there's corking in C now. Nope. Corking in A and B only. C, D, and E. Home player throws first. Single 19 for Madhouse. Still trailing points by 21. There's a good dart from Hacksaw. They'll get the 19s closed. So single 19 around the board after that. So Madhouse moving up to 18s. Again, he's still had plenty of ledgers to score on, but he's going to need to start finding them. Just a single 18 is going to leave him trailing still. Hacksaw out in front thanks to that big six mark. He's this time starting on the 15s, then moves over to 17. So he gets the 17s closed, gets a single 15 to bolster his lead. Madhouse working on the 18s. So again, 18s versus 15s, just like the first leg. Went Madhouse's way last time. Madhouse seemed like he wanted to think about that one for a second. The single 18 tied the score. Had one dart in hand, could have gone for the hero dart. Hacksaw, this is a big <sighs> treble 15 with the first. He goes up for the 18s with two and three, missing just low with each. Finding the four wedge, but still 45 points. Forces Madhouse to stay on the 18s. This time he'll get two to add 36. That keeps him behind by nine. Single 15 for Hacksaw. As with the lead, both players struggling to find their opponent's wedge. So Hacksaw has started on the 18s a couple times, but hasn't found any. He had to drop back down to 15s to get more points. Madhouse this time will get enough points to get back in the point lead. So the battle continues. 28 viewers at this point in time. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Say hello if you haven't already. I may have missed it because I'm watching the darts, calling them. But again, we like to we like to chat. We're friendly peeps. We've got a couple of Canadians out there. You know they're friendly. There is a miss from Madhouse. A boatload of ones, but that's not going to help. Once again, Hacksaw first dart at the 18s is low into the four. Drops back down 15s. He finds a single with dart number three. And just a single, so the game's slowing down a little bit for both of these players. But again, it's a tie score. And that's a huge dart from Hacksaw. This time, he finds the treble 18, made the adjustment. So it's a tie ball game right now. But... Madhouse has nowhere to score. Hacksaw still has the 15s. Madhouse now going over to 16. Where he's looking to close, looking for a treble for some points. Gets the close at the minimum. Two 16s found. Again, 165, 165. If it's tied, it's just the player to finish the wedges first. Two Hacksaw had the first two 16s but couldn't find the third. Madhouse going to put points on the board. And now he's going after 15s aggressively. He stays for the last. It's a weird angle for me to look at. It's just high, so a single 16. But again, the 16's enough. It's going to force Hacksaw to need two 15s to take the point lead back. And it's going to be a miss from Hacksaw. So now Madhouse coming to the board with three darts in hand, looking to get a close of the 15s. That looks like a double 15 with the second. So M Madhouse with a big visit now as he finds a single 15, a double 15, and a single bull for four marks. And Hacksaw is going to make it a bull race. He moves to the bull. He finds a single. So the 16 and a bull, it's a bull race. Madhouse needs two. Hacksaw needs three. Madhouse back to the board. And it's an empty visit this time from Madhouse. Hacksaw needing three. Can he get a hat trick or can he find a bullseye and an outside? Well, now he's going to need the bullseye. That first one is out, but that looks like a bullseye. Can he find another? Oh. He cannot. It's a bullseye, but Hacksaw takes the lead by one. Hacksaw needs just one more. Madhouse needs two.
Mavs needs the bullseye with the last. Cannot find it. It's a miss from Madhouse Hacksaw to hold. Looking for a single bull. He's down to his last dart as well. Miss. And it's just high into the 20s for Hacksaw. Cannot close. Get Can't get over the line. Madhouse, there's one. Can he find another one? Oh, that dart's so close, but it's just outside. But that one looks to be in. It's blocked out, and there it is with the third dart game shot and the leg to Madhouse finding two. Once again, down to his final dart, but he gets two in the 25 to take a 2 nothing sweep of the cricket portion in this match. A battle, that one. Madhouse going to have the darts as we switch over to 501 for the final six legs. Game on! Dave Little Toaster joining the chat saying, oh man, oh man, got to get this heater kicking. Repat180 joining the chat saying, nervy. Gules Echo in the chat as well, as well as the Kilf. Kilf coming in. Evening, y'all. As Madhouse gets us started off with 41. 63. Hacksaw going to get a good cover shot. 63. Going to salvage the early breakfast question as well. And that appears to be 22, a little roadhouse for Madhouse. Three. 40 this time from Hacksaw. Again, making the cover shot. And this is going to be just 28 for Madhouse. So off to a slow start on the left side with the darts. Hacksaw trying to attack the throw. 52. Nice 52. So he'll have a 52 first nine. That's pretty good. It's solid here in the photo C division, although it's dominant here in the early goings. Madhouse struggling to get going. Oh, that looks like a good turn here. That third dart appears in the treble 20 for 85. So that'll get him right back in it. Blade Mouth 5 in the chat says, naturally, Madhouse sweeps the cricket. King Raj says, barely. But uh, as any real racer will tell you, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. That could be back-to-back -back visits with a third dart trouble for Madhouse. This time it's an 81. Hacksaw had found another 52. Keep that 52 average intact. Will he find a 12 again with the last? Now this time it's going to be 60 for Hacksaw. So Madhouse, with a couple of trebles, has gotten himself back in this one. And he might let Hacksaw off the hook. And there's a surgical seven served up by the Madhouse. And jumping around the board, 42 scored this time from Hacksaw. Getting that treble five. I know what that life's about. Again, a good grouping there. Looks like maybe 30, though, unrewarded with the deflection. Could be 45. Just 30 for Madhouse. He stays on the outside looking in. Hacksaw trying to get there first from 192. 25. And 25 will be enough to do it. It'll leave him 167. Hacksaw the first one down to a finish. Madhouse looking to do the same here. Pausing to do some math. Hey, it's the 17. That'll be 57. Uh, I guess there's worse targets you could throw at there, but it's enough to get to a finish. Hacksaw requires 167, and it's off. Your dad's GF joining the chat. Thank you very much. Your dad's GF. How you doing? 55 score from Hacksaw down to 112. Madhouse requires 150. It will be off as well. Madhouse now looking to get some good pressure applied. Looks like an 85 in there for Madhouse once again. Axel looking for 112. Couldn't find the treble 
He's going to get 56 scored, leaves him 56, cut the score in half. Madhouse requires 65. Oh, and he can't find the big number, but needed the big 15. One dart in hand, still looking to set up, and he misses the 13 as well. It's the double four. It's going to be 28 scored from Madhouse down to 37. Hacksaw requires 56. Two for tops. 36. 36 scored from Hacksaw just narrowly below. I didn't want to call it because it was so close. I thought it might have been in, but the third dart comes in outside of the Rascal Madhouse now requires 37. There's the five. He's got two for double 16. Cannot find it, but this time Madhouse will at least leave himself on a single dart finish. Hacksaw requires 20. And all of them are going to be outside. Rascal been stingy so far this entire season across all divisions. Let's miss Madhouse looking for 32. Side. Oh, apparently the first dart had fallen out or maybe missed or was blocked out by that flight picture, but it's only 16 scored for Madhouse. Hacksaw, next door neighbor, double into the 15 for a bus. So Madhouse immediately back to the board now looking at double eight. And he'll find it with the first dart game shot and the leg to Madhouse. He's now three on the bounce, on the spin, on the trot, on the go, on the run. As he holds the throw once again, so completes the break of throw. After the break, get the hold as he goes up three to nothing. And that means we are moving to the fourth leg of this match, which means Hacksaw to throw first. Game on. Let's see. King Raj asking where them breakfast is at. <laughs> Don't know. There's 46 scored. Hacksaw on the cover shot this time, finding the trouble. Seven. Dave Toaster, hey, A players for this corking thing. After the first miss, do you pull your dart or just throw the second one with the first miss in there? Uh, technically, you're supposed to pull it out every time. If it's nowhere near and it's not going to get in the way, you can't really use it as a marker. You could probably just throw it uh, with it still in there. Uh, but the technical rule would be to pull it every time. That looks like a nice 100 from Hacksaw. That's oh, a 140 even, so Hacksaw joining the bonus point brigade, at least for the time being. Nicely done there. Good grouping all around that treble 20. And Madhouse will answer back with 100. So off to much better starts for both players in this second leg of 501. Maybe trying to get their legs underneath him a little bit. 45 scored from Hacksaw this time. He's under 300 after nine. That's a nice 77 first nine this time. Madhouse answered back with 30, so he'll be down to 330. Right around 57. Ninety-two. Nice 92. Hacksaw looking dialed in on this leg. Another treble 20 coming in for him. P. Lucier joining the chat says, get it together, Hacksaw. You have to hit doubles for the tendy men to come. I'm assuming that's going to be an inside joke. I don't know what a tendy men is. And speaking of hitting things, it's another 81 scored from Hacksaw. Well, after 15, under 100, down to 97 already. Madhouse off to a better start than he was in the last leg, but still finds himself well behind his hacksaw getting in his groove. It looks like another 41. Continue to work his way down. Hacksaw requires 97. And he'll have two shots at it. 
And it's a third dart into the one. That'll leave 39. But he'll be back to the board. Madhouse going to need something working here to get to a finish from 248. And 67 will not be enough, but he found tops with the second. There's the seven, so Hacksaw's got two looks at double 16. And he'll find it with the third. Game shot and the leg, and a nice bounce back 21 darter from Hacksaw as he gets on the board for the first time in the Photo C Winter 2021 season, making it 3 to 1. Madhouse coming back to the board to throw first. Game on! King Ranch says Hacksaw should call him Buzzsaw, am I right? Is that a is that a is that an alcohol thing? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. And that looks like a nice one hundred start for Madhouse, so another ton registered for him. See if Hacksaw can keep up the pace that he established in that last leg. Ride the momentum of getting that first leg win underway. 45 scored for him. And I was just trying to keep the pressure on with the, the darts. And that one looks like 30, just below that treble five. We've seen that a couple times from Madhouse as well. Where we've seen the big score followed by the not so big score. Nice 95 from Hacksaw. Snuck that third dart into the corner, deflected off it nicely. It was kind of a weird angle for it to go in there, but he managed. And that appears to be your first breakfast of the match from Madhouse. Single five, single 20, and a single one which is a breakfast. It's called a breakfast here in darts. Nice 85 there from Axel. And as we do here in the FODL, during the regular season, we ask an official breakfast question for the first breakfast of every single match. This is match one of three this evening. So, so, uh, this one's going to be inspired by what I did because Dilly called me out. He says that I eat boring breakfasts all the time. And just because I eat d things that are delicious and they're easy to make, and yeah, I eat them pretty frequently, you know, bacon, eggs, and some sort of grain, it's not, it's, it's good stuff. But I mix it up just for Dilly to rub his face in it. So I made some pancakes with protein powder in them. So 31 viewers out there, what I want to know is if you are making pancakes and you're going to make protein pancakes, what flavor of protein powder are you going to put in your protein pancakes? 31 viewers out there, let me know. A 138 from Hacksaw, his second two-trouble visit of this leg as we get back to the darts. That one was a sweat. Uh, wasn't sure to stop talking and put the pressure on or just kind of keep talking, but I did see that it was a sweat. Uh, so I figured I'd just keep talking to not throw off the groove, but Hacksaw requires 76. wasn't a sweat because I can count. Nineteen. Nineteen scored this time from Hacksaw. So he's saying he switched over for the math. That's also acceptable. Although I don't think anybody would slight anybody for going for one a maximum pretty much whenever you can. Because let's be honest, they're fun to throw. And that's gonna be just thirty two. So Madhouse still above two hundred. Hacksaw looking for fifty seven. He's got two shots at tops. Inside on the final dart, he'll go over to the Rascal and he'll come back for it. Madhouse back at 204, so after that 100 has really struggled in this leg. And it's going to be 41, so unfortunate there because that will leave the old bogey at 163. So Hacksaw got six darts from 10, or correction, 20. 15. And he'll score 15, so getting interesting on the right side as well. Madhouse 163, trying to catch up here. 22, little roadhouse, double deuce once again, 141 left. Hacksaw requires five. And he 
goes up to the madhouse with his last. It's going to be a bust with the final dart inside. So back to five he goes. Madhouse requires 141. Just above that trouble 20 with the first, so it, it will be off. And another breakfast thrown in by a Madhouse down to 115. Hacksaw requires five. Bust. And it'll be first start bust. That's the tricky one, the hardest one to hit. That single one coming in off of five. Madhouse requires 115. Just narrowly missing that trouble. 20 again. This time it was with the second dart. 45 scoring for Madhouse. Gets him down to 70. Back to Hacksaw looking for five. This time he's got the single one. Dropping down to double two. And it's going to be pulled left into the 17, which will be a bust again for Hacksaw. Madhouse getting another opportunity from a very doable 70. My. Not sure where that second dart is, if that's a two or if that's a 15. Must be a two. Hits the eight, so Madhouse is going to leave himself on tops after scoring 30. Probably get some eye rolls in there for starting on the 20s there, but it is what it is. There's a single five for, or correction, single one. Dropping down to double two inside, back up to double one. But Hacksaw will find Madhouse's namesake this time. Game shot and the leg to Hacksaw as he makes it three to two. So gets a break of throw this time. And now Hacksaw is throwing to level the match. Can he pull it off? Game on! Let's see. Let's see. We've got a couple answers to the breakfast question. We've got King Raj 10 saying banana, banana protein powder. Okay. Uh, your dad's GF says birthday cake. Buffalo Brando once says protein. Is that like flavored like a crow, like a bird? Ugh. Uh, DJ Mike Hughes, peanut butter. Train photo joining King Raj. Must be a Canadian thing for banana. King Raj says, I mean, I would have thrown the 180. 41. Fair. And 41 this time from Hacksaw. Buffalo Brando says, fight like the crow. I, don't, I still don't know what that means. But, uh, all right. Fireman says, you throw some chocolate protein powder in there. I went with vanilla because the two ones that I have are vanilla and mocha. There's 21 from Hacksaw. If you're drinking adult beverage wherever you reside and you're of legal drinking age, go ahead and take a drink because that's the legal drinking age here in the United States. That looks like 94 from Madhouse. Slipping one into the treble 18 with the last. So another big treble. But again, we've seen Madhouse struggle with a little bit of the consistency both have found big scores at times, but Hacksaw has not as many slack visits, which has really given him a big advantage here in the 501 portion. This one's going to be 31, so a handful of treble fives to go along with that single one. Madhouse continuing to work his way down, nursing a lead at this point. Hacksaw coming back to the board. Buffalo Brando, it's an always sunny reference. Rolling 20s 12 says, what's up, Fodal? I like how it's rolling 20s 12. There's like, uh, there, there's the old, I don't know why there's a 12 there. There's a nice 96. Hacksaw getting some good cover shots in. All right, so I guess I must have just not seen this season of It's Always Sunny that they're talking about. But uh, apparently everybody else knows it, so that's good. So it's just me. Just me. 28 scored for Madhouse. So still similar to last leg. He's got that one good score in there with a 94, and the rest are 
struggling a little bit. Hacksaw just a 45, so not quite as dialed in as he has in the past legs. But he's still out in front working his way down. This time, Madhouse recovering a little bit with a 45. Puts one a nice 230 if he can get something working. 42 scored from Hacksaw. That's enough to put him on a finish down to 150. What was your last score? It's asking me to put it in for you. Just try to hit the refresh button because it's showing correct on ours. <coughs> or at least on my screen. What, what was what was your score? It was a 45 for him. Yeah, but that put it in on your side. All right. So, Madhouse, it's, you might actually have to try to fix this if you can. If you could take control of the match. It was showing his right on my end. It's a good old Dark Connect, huh? Yep, the old Dark Connect. So, Madhouse making some adjustments and then Hacksaw... <laughs> Uh, Madhouse, if you could put in Hacksaw's 42. last one was a 42 instead of a 45. And then the 45 that's in there for Madhouse on that last visit should be the 60, and then that should put us correct. All right, and then Madhouse throwing that 60. Boom! We are back on track. You got it, and, Matt and Hacksaw requires 154. A little 40 scored. Madhouse, can he reel in the big one? And it's off. First start, trouble five. And it'll dial it in with the 21 as well. So go ahead and take another drink of your adult beverage. Hacksaw looking for 114. 58. 58 scored from Hacksaw. Madhouse requires 149. And this time it's going to be 26 for Madhouse, but not a breakfast. That's a different, interesting way of throwing a 26. Hacksaw requires 56. And that's going to be a pop, pop finish for Hacksaw. Game shot and the leg nicely done on Hacksaw's side. So Madhouse started out three on the spin. Hacksaw has responded three in a row himself. A game of streaks. We are coming down to the penultimate leg of this first match. Madhouse to throw first. Game on! <laughs> 45 scored this time for Madhouse. Your dad's GF says, Radar sounds so much like Dilly, it's tripping me out. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or a dig. I'm really not. Mm. I know it's at least a compliment to Dilly if the thing sounds like me, so I, don't, I guess it's a dig if I sound like Dilly. I guess that's how that works. Because I sound great. 60. 60 scored from Hacksaw. Solid. Keep them all straight. Madhouse, he drifts a little bit on that last one. Had the first two in there. But it's going to be 41. Uh, Hacksaw straddling the treble 20 that? on either side there. It's going to be just 25 for his efforts, missing by, as the criminal would say, micrometers. On either side of that trouble 20 wedge, that trouble 5 and trouble 1. It's going to be 42 this time for Madhouse. He will join the narrow miss party, that first start in the trouble 1 on his side. Your dad's uh, GF, all he's annoyingly cocky like Dilly 2, same person. Uh, 
No, the the difference is, is that I do it sarcastically, and Dilly's a legitimate narcissist. So that's because I I know that in real life I'm a piece of shit. That's just facts. Solid sixty this time for Madhouse. We get back to the darts. It's a beautiful first. This time, Hacksaw gave it the run. 125 from Hacksaw. The sweat was on another visit with two trebles for him. So the big scoring in that regard has been tilting towards Hacksaw. There's a nice 85 in response, though, from Madhouse. Madhouse is putting in a couple of tons, but Hacksaw's had a couple of ton 20 pluses to his credit, which has really helped him fight back here in 501 because, again, Madhouse swept cricket which means all three of Hacksaw's legs would come in 501. Just 33 there from Hacksaw, so a bit of a slip after that 125. Couldn't get to a finish first. Madhouse trying to do so from 187. And he'll be there. How low can he go? 52 score down to 135. Excuse me. Hacksaw, he will join starting this turn at 178. 58. 58 scored, leaves a nice Shanghai. Like that switch there as well. The Shanghai and much better out. Madhouse, 135. Like the route. Look at Madhouse learning some math. That's some good stuff there. Found the 16 with his first, though. And right after I talked about learning the math, the second dart goes at the 20s from 119. Ah, oh, it's always good. It's always good stuff here in the FODL. That's a 57 score for Madhouse because he's trying to figure out the math there. Forty. Forty scored from Hacksaw, so Madhouse had just fat fingered the 87 button with the 57, but he goes back and changes. Madhouse requires 78. Madhouse had a shot at the bullseye, hit the 18, had 60, hit the 10 for 50. Okay, and it's a good thing Criminal is warming up for his match, I think, so he's not watching. Yowza. But, uh, <laughs> wow. All right, but uh, that's going to be a total of 36 scored for Madhouse. He found the eight with the last. He's trying to figure that one out for the input. Hacksaw looking for 80. 40. Had a shot at tops. Climbed the ladder. Just went a little bit too high. Madhouse requires 42. <laughs> King Roger, I'm, I'm glad you were able to clip that. That's great. Inside on the double 18 over to double 9 with the last. And that's just, just outside for Madhouse. Cannot convert. Leaves 18. They're scoring 24. Hacksaw requires tops. And dark. And he'll find it with the second game shot and the leg for Hacksaw getting another break of throw. And he is now taking the lead with four on the spin, which means Hacksaw is in a dormy position. He can't lose. Worst he can do is tie. And Hacksaw is going to have the darts in hand as we move to the final leg of this match. Hacksaw to throw first. Game on. King Raj. <laughs> King Raj clipped that. That's awesome. Uh it's got to go into the slack, otherwise it'll get lost. But that's funny. 21. A little 21 start things off for Hacksaw. As we'll get it rolling with a sip of the beverage. So we actually believe have some other matches that may have started. So let's see if we can't get some other scores rocking here. Got this guy going. Okay. 28. And 
just 28 to score from Hacksaw, so both players looking to get things going here in the final. We get Scooter Magooch and Go Kart set up in the upper right hand corner there for your viewing pleasure. That one's about to kick off. That being a photo E matchup, I believe. There's a nice 100 from Hacksaw, so he will recover after the 21-28 with a nice 100. Madhouse going to respond with 40. So Hacksaw back out in front, back in the lead here. Beef Bucks coming in for predictions for, I believe, the second match, which is going to be Criminal and Fireman. Maybe it's for this one. If it's for this one, it's a little bit late. But there is 60 from Hacksaw. Madhouse, it might be a 21, it might be a yo. Yo, 11 for Madhouse. Find an online casino that somehow does craps, which is definitely not going to be rigged, and roll 11s until you can't do it after betting the pass line. There's a nice 82 from Hacksaw. Another cover shot into that trouble 19. And I was going to need some big scores, need some big scores in a hurry to get back into this one. That might be 100, though, to get it going. So that's one, but he's still trailing by 100 points, effectively. 98, if we're being exacting. 41. And a tough deflection there from Hacksaw. That one's got through those and somehow kicked right like that. But it's going to be 41 to leave a bogey. And another treble this time for Madhouse. So turn it on in turns five and six, trying to chase down from behind. So Hacksaw not yet on a finish. Madhouse within striking distance of a finish, at least at 227. So 45 this time from Hacksaw gets down to 124. Madhouse trying to get to a finish. 55, not quite enough. That's going to leave him at 172. XR cars 124. It's going to be off. 15. And just 15. So Hacksaw maybe leaving the door open a little bit. Again, Madhouse going to need to find the trouble, you would think, to keep the pressure on. It's going to be a breakfast, but we're in the checkup portion. Again, protein powder you'd add to protein pancakes if you want to say the flavor really quick. Hacksaw requires 109. Thirty-six. That's a 13 or a 4. Must be a 13 there. So 36 scored from Hacksaw. Madhouse requires 146. Finds the treble 16 with the last. So that's going to be 73 scored for Madhouse. Hacksaw requires 73. Oh, misses the big number high. Hit the 9, wanted the 14, but he will leave top, so 33 scored. Madhouse now his attempt from 73. Looks like Madhouse also is going to miss the big 14. So the 14 wedge elusive. That one is just low into the 11, though. Madhouse is going to elect to stay there, which would leave 32. Hacksaw requires 40. And that's going to be in there. Was very close. The shadow was messing with me a little bit, but it is in there for Hacksaw. Game shot and the leg. He finds double 20 on his second dart to go five on the spin to take a victory here in the Fodal C division. Wrapped it up, lost the first three, rebounded nicely to take home a victory. And we're going to go to the interview portion and... 
Madhouse playing in a tent, it looks like, with all that tarping going on behind him. Madhouse got off to the good start there in cricket. You know, particularly that first leg was a good battle. The second leg battled it out, although not quite to the standard. But you got up 3 nothing, and then uh, things kind of got away from you there. Talk to us about how you were feeling uh, this evening. I know you're throwing in a different spot with a different setup. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I started okay. Um, it, it is different, you know, being in a, a new location and trying something out. Um, I started to get cold, like physically cold in here, um, which which didn't help. But I've been tinkering around trying to figure out what's what I want to do with my grip and my throw. And um, I, I, st I think I started the match like, okay, I, I at least need to get cricket, so I'll throw the way I used to throw. And then I started to switch it up because um, – I think it has better long-term progress for me. Um, and I just, I, I got to get back to the drawing board. Don't really like what I'm doing. Um, there's no consistent scoring, at least previously, I would, I could say a consistent two darts into the trouble, uh, 20 wedge and, you know, maybe a, maybe a treble, maybe a strain with a five or one. But I mean, yeah, you, you watched me go all over the board. Um, my brain's not really in it. So math is like, terrible right now <laughs> i mean i'm like missing things by 10 and 15 i'm like what what is happening you said 73 and i'm like what what it's 61 and i was like what the what the hell did i do <laughs> um, so <laughs> got brain fog all over the place um you know there's a couple of legs in there where i i, I had no business being even close um but you know I'll, I'll take three it's the first first match of the uh of the season yeah, so we got a couple of comments. Uh, F.O. Dartley could do it to JBU is saying, is Madhouse in a JBU hospitality tent right now? Because <laughs> it, it, it does kind of look like that. But again, you know, working on things always, always tough for it to get to set in. And, you know, I think we saw that a little bit when you were playing because we would uh, we'd see the pop of like the 100 or the 85 and then it would be a string of, you know, things in the 20s where it just, you know, lacking the consistency that I think we're used to seeing from you. Maybe not necessarily the power scoring, but the consistency is usually what keeps you in a lot of these matches, which just wasn't there. So what is it going to be to continue to work on that and continue to make the changes so that those get more locked in going forward? Yeah, I, I think I just have to, to find time to practice, but um, if I like what I'm changing to, I have to be willing to, to work my way through it. And if it means, you know, losing matches or, uh, or losing some legs that maybe I could have won. Um, I, I think that's okay. I, I think, again, it just has better long-term benefits. I'm really trying to, to work on my, my stance, my posture, my grip. I mean, I'm, I'm probably doing too much at once. Um, so I'll, I'll call you King Raj. I'll call you Congra. I won't call you Krim because you'll just make fun of me the whole time with my math. And, <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, so we noticed that there is, like, the tarping behind you, and I've, you've moved to a different room within your house, townhouse, apartment, abode. Uh, not sure what your exact situation is. But is it is it a matter of it's under renovation for insulation, or what's making it the fact that it's so cold? It's like Lush's attic all over again. Uh, well, it, it's really, I mean, the, the, the heating unit's down here, so it depends on if it's on and, and helping pump the rest of the house or not it just it, it quickly these uh this insulation I'm, I'm got a wall of concrete behind me i'm in a townhouse basement so um this is actually padded walls for the madhouse i'm getting a little crazy <laughs> welcome uh or i'm in breaking bad you decide I don't, you don't know what's going on over here we have no idea but i do know what's going on next week you're gonna have the kilf on the docket so what's the game plan to get ready for that one um, well, I already got at least one leg on because I know how to spell my name. And then after that, it's all bets are off. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it, Madhouse. Always a pleasure having you on. We're able to still pick off three, even though it didn't go your way this evening. Good luck working through the changes. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Thanks for uh, casting radar. And Hacksaw, thanks for uh, giving me the buzzsaw. I appreciate it. We will go over now to Hacksaw, the, the message on the board, Subphoto. Hi, Mom. The, the, Hi, Mom. The comma between hi and mom. 
uh, there. So, uh, Hacksaw, coming in your first regular season matches. So we know we've we've gotten you a little bit accustomed to playing on stream during that playoff run that you had that got you into Photo C. But Madhouse came out and put it on you a little bit, especially in that cricket portion. How were you able to come back and rebound after uh, falling down 3-0? Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping that playing in the playoffs would get rid of some of those casting nerves for me. Um, but we started off and I was just shaky. Um, all throughout the cricket legs, I was just shaky. Um, so uh, unfortunately for me, you know, it, it, it was, I was just felt like I was all over the place. Um, and then come the, the first leg of 501 and I missed a couple darts at a double. And um, I just kind of stopped for a minute and, was, and just tried to refocus and um, really, I was just, I was frustrated with myself. I was mad. And I, instead of getting mad and letting that frustration kind of take over and, and ruin the rest of my game, I channeled that and tried to, to focus extra hard. And, um, the very next leg, I, it, it was a seven turn leg. Um, the rest of them weren't so good, but, um, it kind of was just like getting that, that first one and, and getting those nerves out of the way and, and starting to channel that that energy into focus rather than being nervous and having my hand shaky. Um, and from then on out, um, I felt like every time I got to a double, I was going to hit it. Um, I, I, my scoring was kind of uh, on and off, uh, but I always kind of from that point on felt like I've got one of those two treble visits coming sometime. I just stay focused. It's coming, hit it, you know, and, and that just walk into a line every time trying to make sure that that's what's in my head. Like this could very well be, 140 or maybe even a 180 i didn't get one tonight but um i've, I've been hitting them with some regularity and, and stepping up my power scoring so um unfortunate to not get one on stream but i did pump in a 140 so i know that ties me for the bonus point for the week so um yeah that was it so um was able to turn it around and, and was happy yeah, and that's, you know, the big thing that kind of separated the two of you because there was some up and down scoring from you, but your ups were a little bit higher and your downs were also a little bit higher uh, on this evening in particular, even though, you know, at the beginning it looked like it didn't go your way, you know, and I will say the the streaming nerves, they really never go away, at least not for me, but then again, I'm also weak-minded, so who knows. Uh, but uh, go <laughs> Coming in, you were able to get five on the spin, and you, you made that great run where you, you ran pretty handily through those C and D playoffs. But you know that once you got to photo C, it's going to be a different animal. So how did you start to prepare, prepare mentally for the beginning of this regular season where it's going to be a much longer season? It's not just getting through two or three matches. Yeah, it was something that I definitely thought about quite a bit. Um, and watching the standard in, in all of photo really just continue to, to go up. And, and I mean, that was highlighted last night with that King Rise Congrel match, from my word. Um, but even then, looking at the averages that the, the players in C have been throwing so far, I mean, Doughboy's been throwing in the 50s every match. Um, Rolling 20s averaged 54 in his first match. Um, you know, we've got former champions, we've got former finalists. Um, this is going to be a test. Um, and so kind of I've set a little benchmark for myself, and I don't think I quite got there tonight because I was just under the 50 average. Um, but I want to at least have, you know, I, I want to be averaging 50 every week. So that's kind of the benchmark and, and what I told myself that I wanted to be doing um, over the course of the season. Um, it's not particularly high of a benchmark considering the level that some of the players in the league are. But I know that I'm capable of doing that. In the last long form steel tip league that I, I played in, I averaged like right around 53 or so. Um, but I just want to get more consistent. I want to make sure that when I'm having an off night, it's still in the 50s instead of, of you know. It, it, it can also be a little bit deceiving because you have one leg that you miss a lot of doubles and it can really drag your average down. But over the course of the, of the season, it'll be a really good benchmark to see. Um, and that's kind of just the level where I expect myself to play. And, and um, hopefully I can live up to that. Well, you'll get your next shot next week where you will have Pepe Lay on the docket. So what's the game plan to get ready for this one? Uh, just keep practicing, stay on the practice board. Um, I know what I can do when when I'm focused and playing well, um, playing against the, the Dark Connect bot and playing against my roommate. I know somebody in the chat mentioned him. He's not he's not in tonight. So <laughs> if you're wondering where he was, uh, he's, he's not here tonight. So um, just staying in that competitive mindset and um, 
it, becoming more consistent. That's really what it is. It's, you know, you, it's kind of become a cliche. You don't really need to get better. You just have to become more consistent. Um, I know I can play really well. I just have to, to find that level of consistency. Um, and all the assets, uh, all the facets, rather, of the game, um, you know, you want to score well, you want to set up well, and you want to hit your doubles. So um, that's what it's going to take in order to uh, try and progress in this league. And it's going to be a doozy for sure. And I'm looking forward to watching Krem up next. And uh, hopefully uh, we, we play together in RWL, so I kind of root for him. And I wish him all the best and everybody else in C as well. So it's going to be a real fun season. Well, congratulations on the victory and good luck the rest of the way. Your dad's GF said, I legit thought Hacksaw was Jason Siegel for a second. Had to do a double take. I don't know if you want to take that as a compliment or not, but I will say I appreciate you wearing the exact same picture you're wearing in your play or shirt that you're wearing in your player card picture. So that's that's good stuff. I didn't even think about it, but, yeah, that's just kind of the way it worked out. Um, I'll take it as a compliment, I guess. Yeah, sure. I've heard all kinds <laughs> I've gotten uh, Jason Siegel, Aaron Paul. Um, who's the other one? Uh, Paul Walker. Somebody said I look kind of like Paul Walker before. So I choose to take them all as a compliment and, uh, and, I, and definitely have a smile on my face. So. <laughs> That's the right attitude to have. Hacksaw, congratulations again. We'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, thanks. And again, hi, Mom. Thanks for watching. We will transition. We're going to throw it over to this screen for just a second because, again, the photo Open Cup registration is now open and it closes tomorrow. The draw show will be tomorrow evening during uh, the cast. So come out and throw against your esteemed photolers. The shot is right there. We have more darts and uh, running behind a little bit, so let me get to that. Don't go anywhere. Darts Night on Twitch rolls on when we return. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready for our second match of tonight's cast as we throw in. But first, we're going to talk about the Photo Weekly Podcast out there wherever you get your podcast streaming now. Hosted by Red Rascal and Pepe Lay with Voice of Work from the one and only Scooter Magooch. 27 viewers out there, if you're into podcasts and that sort of thing, want to keep up with all things photo, the Photo Weekly Podcast out there wherever podcasts are streaming. We're ready for our second night match of tonight's triple header. Yikes. And it's going to be another photo C matchup between the criminal throwing out of Alexandria, Virginia. Last season finished ninth in the photo B division. He was in the promotion relegation playoffs and was knocked out by sweats. The former three-time champion throwing with 22 gram Unicorn code DNA Dimitri Vandenberg's hashtag crime time. Going up against the fireman out of Richmond, Virginia. Last season finished first place in the photo D division, so he earned his promotion to photo C. Throwing with the 22 gram design of Patriot X darts. Hashtag sound the alarm. Let's look at the standings. Did I say Scooter? Apparently I said voice work by Scooter. Slappy's calling me out. Sorry, it's by Slappy Pappy. The incomparable Slappy Pappy. Incomparable. Sorry. My bad. Looking at the standings again, so it's been updated. Doughboy still on top with two matches played, 10 total legs, one. Rolling 20s with 12. Hacksaw with 10. Kilf, 8. Madhouse, 6. Pepe Le, Lush, both 4. Looking at the schedule, second to last match that's going to be played in this one, DJ Mike Hughes and the Kilf to play tomorrow evening to finish out game week one. Doughboy with a seven mark, rolling 20s, 2.77 MPR, rolling 20s with a 17 dart leg. Doughboy, Lush, rolling 20s, and Hacksaw, all with 140, and a 100 checkout for the rolling 20s. Looking at last season's stats, Criminal was 11th best in cricket, with a 2.34 NPR. The Fireman was 29th at 1.97. Miss percentages, not that far apart, actually, 44% to 48. But the treble and bull and five mark percentage heavily in the criminal's favor, 17 to 11, 9.4 to 6.4. In 501, again, the criminal got a pretty heavy advantage, 23rd in the league to 43rd for the Fireman, 48.72 to 40.63. The first nines are pretty close, though. So coming down to finishing. Will it change? Who knows? We're going to find out right now as we go back to the split view. We've got a bunch of matches running concurrently with this one. Scooter Magooch up 3-0 right now over Go-Kart. Tungsten Toaster leading Jig 4-0. 
Uh, make that 5 nothing. He just finished off another leg, so Toaster off to a great start to his Photo B campaign. Another Photo B matchup, Bar Boy and Bud the Chud. Bud the Chud up one nothing in that one. But we are here for this Photo C matchup between the Criminal and Fireman. So if our players are ready to go, we'll get it underway. Fireman, are you ready? Ready. Criminal, are you ready? Yeah. All right, both of our players are ready. Criminal, the home player, to throw first. Game on. Too well, man. Well, and a scooter dart early here for the criminal. He's going to get two 20s nonetheless. Bud Chud taking another leg of cricket. He'll sweep cricket, go up 2 nothing. Kilf predicting this one going to end up 7 to 1. Why not? He says, I don't know who's going to win all six 501 legs, but someone is going to win all six 501 legs. So Kilf is predicting a sweep in 501 and a split of cricket. Three There's three 20s with the final dart from the criminal finding the treble bed. Dart Sweat says he's betting the bank. He's betting all the beef bucks on Krim in this one. Three nines. Three steady 19s for the fireman. So he will get the 19s closed, get on the point board. Criminal out in front, got the 20s closed, got the 20 wedge available for scoring. Finds a treble with that second dart. So three 20s and a single 19 as he drops down with the last. Fireman looking to keep things rolling One on nine. the 19s. A single 19 for him add to his point total. Criminal still up by 62. And he'll get the 19s closed. Takes all three darts to do it, but the important thing is he's got it closed. So Fireman will be on the move going up to 18. So Scoot Magooch taking another leg off of Go-Kart. He's now up 4 to nil, <laughs> And that is a miss, or was it a single 18 for Fireman? It was a miss. Criminal punishing the first dart treble 18. Moving down to 17s. Can't find the treble there. He stacks a couple on the wrong side of the wire. Got four threes. But that's not going to qualify. So just the treble 18. But another wedge close for the criminal. So he's looking steady early. But there's a five mark to respond from the fireman. Five 17s as he gets that wedge open and scored upon. But Criminal's going to shut it down with his second dart. Treble 17, and he is moving right along. Gets a single 16 with his last. So Criminal with a nice 3.0 MPR. Fireman throwing okay here, too, with a 2.0. But right now, Criminal is rolling. Speaking of rolling, Toaster once again on a finish well out in front of the jig. So he looks to go up 6 nothing potentially. Grim is going to get a four mark in the 16s now. So he's going to add to the point lead after he gets it closed and continue the torrid pace. Potentially a bonus point on his mind at the 3.1 right now. Toaster did complete that leg, so 6 four nothing fives. now Toaster over Jig. There's a nice four mark from the Fireman. Not giving up hope here, answering with a four mark. Criminal over to 15s now himself. Got the first two in, but he misses the big one with the final dart. Just a pair of 15s remains open for the fireman to score. Just one. A single 15 for the fireman. Gets him up over 100 points, but still trailing by 30. Crib's going to close 15s with the flourish. Found the trouble there. It's only going to count for one. He moves over to Bull, gets a single, so one and one for the criminal now. He's two away. Fireman needs a boatload of bulls and needs them in a hurry. There is a single as he gets started. Criminal looking to finish things off here. Going to take the bullseye to do it. It will be a miss. So nothing in the bull, nothing in the center, and nothing in all the wedges he's got closed and open. He found a strain 19, but that's one of the few that's closed. Three bulls. That looks like three bulls for the fireman. Nicely done there, closing the gap, trailing now by five. Criminal still looking for the finish of this leg, and it's back-to-back -back misses for the criminal. So fireman with some life here left to the center. 
must be a Richmond thing. Fireman and Jig both with their cats underneath the board. Missed. Making some noise. A little cheerleader cat action. It's a miss this time from Fireman. Oh, Criminal still looking to put this one away. And he'll do it with a bullseye. Second arc game shot. And the leg going to the Criminal. Got off to a very good pace. Slowed down a little bit on the center, but he does button it up to take a one to nothing lead. Fireman's going to have the darts as we move to the second leg of cricket. Game on! That's a good first this time from Fireman, finding the treble 20 with his first dart. Four 20s to blaze it for the Fireman. But you know, he is the Fireman, though, so would he want to blaze it, or is he trying to extinguish the blaze? These are the ex existential questions we really must be asking ourselves. There's two 19s as Criminal starts out on the bottom half of the board. Fireman first dart was at the 20s, and he's going to drop down to 19s. But that second dart, a nice deflection there. Four 19s for the Fireman as he kicks it down into the treble 19. Four 19s as the Criminal is now on the move over to 18. Finds a pair once again, so Criminal starting out with back-to-back -back two marks. Fireman has started out with back-to-back -back four marks. His first dart at the 20s moves over to 18s, and it's another third dart treble for the Fireman. Single 20, four 18s, five marks for the Fireman, and he is off to a blistering start here in this second leg of cricket. Criminal looking to get a foothold somewhere. One and one, single 17, single 15. The string of two marks continues on the left side of the board. The fireman continues to plug along, and there is yet another treble. Back-to-back, -back, five marks for the fireman. Four 17s and a single 16. He is woken up. The fire hose is on full blast, just spraying all over that dart board, all over those trebles. There's four 15s this time from the criminal. So he is going to get on the board in points. Fireman's still working on the 16 wedge. He's going to find a double with the last this time. So three 16s to keep it up. But criminal went over to 15s. He skipped over the 16s. And he's got a close and gotten points on with his four mark. He's looking to continue it. Back to back four marks on the 15s now from the criminal as he adds 60 points to his score. However, Fireman still has the point lead by 20. He's moved over to 15s, just two. So a big turn here from the criminal. Can he fend off the Fireman for now? Again, Fireman's got every other wedge closed except for Bull. So an uphill battle for the criminal, but there's three steady 15s. Again, criminal, another good leg. You see the MPR right around 3.0, a shade below 2.8, 2.9. But the Fireman with a 3.8. Just throwing hot fire. There's a single 20 from the fireman, and he's going to close the 15s uh, still behind by five. He's going to make sure the criminal can't get any more points. So criminal now has a choice. There's a close of 19s. There's a close of 18s. And it's going to be a stray single 20. I believe that was at least at the bull. But he went for the close of the 19 and 18s, only needing a single mark on those ones. And he got a 20 in there as well. Oh, oh, and that's a big miss from the fireman, leaving the door open, potentially giving the criminal some options here, figure out maybe if he wants to be heroic. That looks like a double 20 with the first. It might be a double 17 with the second. And he just missed the treble 16. Almost a ridiculous turn from the criminal, but it's four marks, and it's the 20s and the 17s closed. So now the fireman reduced to just having the 16s on which to score. He gets a single, moves over to the bull, but missed. Criminal almost closing everything, almost went to the bull with the lead. But instead, he is now behind by just 11. But he's closed off the big scoring wedges of the fireman. So it's just the 16s, a little bit more manageable once you get into the bull race, because again, easier to find the troubles on the 16s than it is the bullseyes in the center. A double 16 this time for the fireman to start things off, but he does not get anything in the middle. So two more 16s adds 32 points. Back over to the criminal. 
staying strong, needing to get the bullseye closed. Be moving to the right to get around that second dart. Can't do it. It's an empty visit this time from the criminal. So now the fireman looking to put this one away, looking for three in the middle. Yes. But it's another miss. Fireman struggling on the center of the board. Well, that was a weird glitch out here from uh, Darkenek. I don't know what that is. Showing that that leg just ended out of nowhere. <laughs> don't know is it that... correct right now? Uh, it's still showing that that leg just ended and you won it to nothing. Uh, maybe. It shows on me. There we go. Now it's right. It's my turn. He's got Yep, now okay. it's correct. That was odd. Dark Connect having some issues tonight. And another miss in the center. So things calming down. Again, That cr the criminal had that massive double 20, double 17 turn. And almost found the treble 16, but it was high into the 8. Since then, yes. things have calmed down just uh, three marks combined between the two between the last five visits. Criminal trying to change that here. That's a great first dart into the green bit, and it's usually a good marker for him. As it is, there's three bulls finding the bullseye with the last, able to use that first one as a guide to get in there. So Criminal closing the gap again. Fireman still up in points, but this time he's going to go after the 16s where he'll tack on two more. Give him 210 points. Criminal. He's got a dart for the match. He can't find the 16s sailing high. Found the bullseye, which tied the score. Had two darts to try to find the treble 16. Could not do it. Another Sixes. double 16 for the fireman, making use of that double ring here for scoring. But can't find anything in the middle. Criminal back to work, looking for the bull. Nope. Just high, so it's a miss again for the criminal. Fireman first start of the 16th, then he's moving over. Still struggling to find the bullseye here. Looking around the other legs, it's a bunch of sweeps going on. Bud the Chud up 5 nothing over Barboy. Toaster up 8 nothing over the Jig. That one's in the final leg. And Toast and Scooter Magooch is up 5 nothing over Go-Kart. There's two good darts from the Criminal. Two single bulls for him. 50 more points as he gets back on top in points. Now pressure applied to the Fireman. Responds with the first two at least. So it's enough to put him back out in front by 14 points. That's a big dart for the criminal. Treble 16 with the first. So he's changed his tune. He is elected to make this one a bull race. And now it's the criminal out in front after that treble 16. Criminal needs one. Fireman needs three, but he's got nowhere else to go. Can he find the bullseye with the last? He cannot. Looks one. like just a single bull for the fireman. Criminal now three darts in hand. He needs just one. And he'll get it with the first dart. Game shot and the leg going to the criminal as he has picked that one off. And it is highway robbery for the criminal. That massive turn, the double 20, double 17 was really the turning point in criminal being able to find the center when the fireman struggled. It was down to 16s and bulls and the criminal was able to find it. And he will sweep the cricket portion going up to to nil. We're going to switch over to 501 now. Six legs of 501 coming at you. The criminal to throw first. Game on! King Raj 10 asking if we're in photo after dark. Not yet. We've got 18 minutes before we can get there. About <laughs> dart league saying leave us in our internet alone. And criminal starting 501 off the same way he started off the cricket portion with a scooter dart. It's going to be 40 points scored, but, I mean, if it works out the same way as Cricket worked out, where he won both, maybe that's a good omen. There's a yo 11 from the Fireman. Once again, craps table, rigged, bet the pass line, 
hack the code, roll elevens for hours until you get caught, and then leave with all the cash. <laughs> Dilly asking why I'm narcissistic. I don't even have to answer the question. You we, we, we know. We know these things. We know these things. There's my 79 from the fireman making use of the cover shot. And 39 scored this time from the criminal. So he is off to a 39 first nine. And the fireman's going to go after the 19, so going full Pepe Lay here. 45 scored for him this time. Just 41 scored from criminal. So he's gone every number 38 to 41. 40, 38, 39, 41. 31. And there is 31 from the fireman. So we did find that treble seven. Blade, blade mouth five in the chat. It's two nothing crim. That is correct. Swept the cricket portion. There is thirty one from the criminal. Forty one. And fireman's gonna one up that by ten. Come on. This time it'll be forty two. Criminal continuing the streak of 30s and 40s only. Fireman has that 79 to speak of. Otherwise, more of the same. So both players off to a slow start here. Fireman out to a little bit of a lead against the darts. Criminal trying to chase that back here. That might wake him up a little bit. 100 scored and also leaves himself on a big finish of 170. Fireman trying to get there himself if he can. Just 45, 45. scored down to 204. So criminal t retaking the lead requires 170. And it's off. We'll get that one out there. Liberty Fires lives to see another day or at least another match. And 58 scored this time from the Fireman, so he will be on a finish now. Criminal requires 145. And that might be 65. May have found tops with that second arc. No, it's just 45, so it stayed below and even 100 remaining. Fireman requires 146. Be able to check it out, but it looks like he's got a treble 20 with the second dart. What he wants to do with his final dart. It's going to be 96 scored. He'll leave himself 50. Criminal requires 100. Fuck. Oh, and he's going to go next door in the double five. Had two looks at the 100 finish. But he's going to leave himself 30. Fireman requires 50. Now he's got some cleanup work to do. Hit the 15 with his first. Oh, no. And it's going to be a bust on the second dart for the fireman as he found the doubled 19. So no looks at double. Criminal requires 30. He's going right after it there inside with the second dart. And that appears to be a bust as well as he found the double seven instead of the single. So he'll go back to 30. Fireman this time missing the 10 once again. This time it's high, though, into the 44. He'll find the 12. He'll have one look at double 16. It's outside. Cannot clean it up. In fact, criminal requiring 30. And inside on the final dart, 15 scored for the criminal. The fireman requires 32. First start. And he'll find it with the first game shot. And the leg going to the fireman as he gets the break of throw to kick off the 501 portion of this match, making it two to one. Fireman will have darts in hand to throw first. Game on. And in our other league, Scooter McGooch, a victory over Go Kart five to two, but Go Kart able to get the final two on the spin to get a couple. One twenty. On One hundred and twenty scored from the fireman with the scooter dart. That's a pretty good score, considering. And it's going to be 39 scored from the criminal. Barboy had gotten one on the board as well against Bud the Chud. It's 7-1 to one up there now. 
Fireman's going to back up his 120 45. with 45. And 45 for the criminal. Uh, your dad's GF saying about the dark net code RNAD. Really nice to all dads. That's a good one. DJ, DJ says if he's on 50 and hits a 15, he just stays on 15 and goes for the rascal. That's an option. That is an option. That might have been a breakfast. I was looking at the chat. We'll have to confirm. Nor did I. 65. A 65 scored from the fireman. Might have had a breakfast from the criminal. Don't know. It was a breakfast. Everybody's saying it was, so it was a breakfast. Yeah. Hey, there's another one for good measure. I see that one. That's the second breakfast of tonight's second match which means i owe a breakfast question for the single five single 20 single one because we ask an official breakfast question for the first breakfast of every single match and this is match two which means we got more breakfast questions to ask so if i glance at my kitchen If you were going to use a fruit-flavored syrup on your pancakes, what fruit-flavored syrup? So basically, just give me something that's not maple syrup. Mix it up a little bit. Let's be a little adventurous. It's hard, for, it's hard to think of these questions. We've done so many. 36 viewers out there, a fruit syrup you would put on your pancakes? Let me know. Hey. Yeah, there's a solid 60 from the criminal, but the fireman out in front requires 130. It will be off for a start into the five. And it's going to be 39 scored from the fireman. He'll get down to 91. And that's going to be 60 scored again for the criminal. Back to back. This time doing it a different way. Found tops. One of them. Fireman acquires 91. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven scored this time from Fireman. Criminal back at two hundred and thirty-two. Looking to apply pressure. Can't find the bull. Forty-four scored down to one eighty eight. Fireman requires fifty-four. Another miss of the big number into the nine. Jeez. Not sure. Fifteen. That Second art is, so it's 15, so it was into the one. 15 scored from the fireman this time. So he's still on a combination finish. Criminal trying to give chase late. And there's a big 134 from the criminal, and all of a sudden pressure is certainly applied to the fireman. Looking for 39. And that looks like a double seven, so fireman struggling to find the big number here. And he's not going to get a look at a finish. He does hit the nine with his final dart. So it's going to be 23 scored to leave 16. But Crow looking for 54. And he's got two at tops. And he stacks two on the wire. 14 scored for the criminal. He got the first. Looks at double crazily in this leg. But he couldn't convert. Fireman 16 inside on double eight over to double four. And that's awesome. well inside for a bust. Back over to the criminal looking at 40. Good guide. And once Shit. again, stacking darts on the wire. Those cannot be closer without being in. No score for the criminal. Fireman inside double eight. Again to double four across the board. And this time it's going to be a bust on the other side into the 18. The criminal is going to get three more shots at it. Inside to the rascal. Oh, my God. And that is just high again. So criminal missing high with everything into the double six, leaving him eight. Back to fireman looking for double eight. This time the first two are outside, not having to move targets. But all are outside, no score from the fireman. Criminal looking for double four. In 
inside to double two. And that's inside. The criminal has gone to the madhouse now. Fireman requires 16. And that's a bust into double 11. Too many. Back over to criminal. Double one. Inside with the second. There is the bust on his end. Back to the fireman. Just inside with that second dart. It was so close, I didn't even want to call it, but he busts again with the third into the 18. And a second dart bust for the second visit in a row from the criminal. And we'll stay at two. He's got nowhere else to go. Fireman at 16. And that's going to be into the 11 with the second dart. He went for the one, it looked like. Would have thought just bust that one and stay put, but he busted anyway. He'll go back to 16. Krim still looking for two, and again, it's the second dart that does him wrong inside. Fireman, 16. Inside, double four. And it's low into the double 13 for a bust. Criminal two. And it's going to be next door into the double 18 for a bust. Fireman requires 16. And finally, the fireman will take it out. Game shot and the leg to the fireman, finding the double eight with his second dart. And he has leveled this match at two legs apiece. Criminals won the first two of cricket. Firemen won the first two of 501. We got four legs left to play. The criminal to throw first. Game on. Okay, we got 40 viewers in here for this. And there is 65 to start things off for the criminal. Let's see. Let's see if we can come in here with some. Let's see if we got some answers to the breakfast questions. King Rob says Lingonberry Ikea Jam. Train 2 says Raspberry. Rolling 20 says Strawberry. Shadow Tilt says Strawberry. There are, is no other right answer. There's a lot of answers. Blade Now 5 says I dig the classic grade A amber. The question was specifically not maple syrup. Kilt says, we picked up some hickory syrup at this random country store last week, and it's pretty good. And Prior 3 joined the chat. That was apt for some madhouse shooting in that last leg. FO Dartleaf says, I missed the question, but I used to love boysenberry syrup. Well, boysenberry syrup's going to count. Lucy <laughs> RC says, dingleberry syrup. <laughs> uh, DJ Mike Hughes says, schnozenberry. Blade Mouth 5 says there's this jam you can get at Mama's in San Francisco, and it's called Halala Berry. Okay. There's a nice 95 from the fireman. Everybody enjoying the cat meows. Or they're just all caps in the chat. There's 59 from the criminal. The kill says feed your cat, then throw darts. Half a dart league. This is quite something. 95. There's another 95 from the fireman. Back-to-back -back 95s for him. All right. Repat 180 says mixed berry. Nice. All right. 45. 45 score from the fireman. Both players on finish. Criminal requires 164. It's off. And it'll be 40 scored, down to 124. Fireman requires 148. And he'll score 41, get down to 107. Criminal requires 124. Wow. Man, 
have found the trouble 18 with the last 84 leave tops fireman requires 107 that looks like it's a treble seven at first Ooh. and so 38 that's gonna be 38 scored from the fireman so we can get some some uh some of the old eye rolls in there criminal looking for tops inside over to the rascal Oh my god. And once again, high into the double six. Similar to last leg and criminal gets down to eight. Fireman requires sixty-nine. Nice. This time he's able to find the big fourteen. He's got one note for tops. And that's inside as well. So it's gonna be forty-nine scored for the fireman. Left himself with twenty. Criminal for double four now to double two. And it's gonna be a second art bust into the fifteen for the criminal. Unable to convert. Back over to the fireman now, looking for the rascal. And looks like he's going to find the double six as well, inside on double four. Oh, and he goes just inside on double two, so this time the fireman into the madhouse. Criminal requires eight. It's going to be single four. So criminal cuts it in half, gets down to four. Fireman looking for two. First art is just inside. It was a good effort, but it's just low. So it will be a bust back to criminal requiring four. And he'll find double two with his first start. Game shot and the leg going to the criminal. Getting one on the board here in 501. Reap taking the lead, going up three to two and getting a hold of throw. Fireman will have the darts when we come back. Game on. Breakfast. And there's another breakfast. So if you didn't answer breakfast question, 41 viewers out there, uh, a fruit syrup that you would put on pancakes. There's a better start from the criminal. I'm sure maybe that'll make him a little happier. 100 scored to start. Barboy1987 joining the chat. Initially he said, evening gentlemen. Then he was corrected that not everybody uh, should have shift because what about the girls, gays, and days? And Barboy says, solid point. Good evening, everyone. There's a 125 this time from the criminal. And looks like maybe a dart change. Looks like some different flights on there at least. So he said he broke a dart. So he did have to change. But so far the change is doing him good here. 45 here. On his third visit, but still a first nine of 90. So some good work there. Fireman, a nice 64 with his second visit. But other than that, coming in, and he's reverted back to the bottom half of the board. 33 scored on this occasion. Forty-three scored from the criminal. W. Stewart 212 says, evening from USA Darts. Evening from uh, dart players in the USA. Well, most of them. 41. For, for, the, for the most part. But not all. Got some uh, Got some other other landers, but predominantly we're U.S.-based. There's 58 score from the criminal, so he's on a finish now, down to 130. Fireman going to need a two-trouble visit to get there. Now we'll not be able to anyway if the first one is into the one. Might be 61, though. Could be 41. Not sure if that's a double 20 or not. It is double 20, so 61 scores. Criminal requires 130. It's going to be 46 from the criminal. Fireman back to 235. Trying to find his way into checkout range, but that's not going to do a whole lot of help. Maybe 19 scored this time from the fireman. Criminal for 84. And he's not able to take out the combination, but he's going to be left with 24 coming back to the board. Fireman still back at 216. And 
This is going to be 29 scored from the fireman. Criminal, at least six from 24. That's a good mark. Just inside with the second over to double six. And inside on double six with the last for the criminal. That's going to leave him with six. Fireman back at 187. And that's going to be 57 scored for him. Nice grouping there down to 130. Criminal requires six. Inside. Can't find the single one. So Criminal's going to bust it with the second dart there. And 30 scored for the fireman leaves him 100. I saw there Prim was digging at the board. The point may have gotten broken off and stuck in the board there. You see a little mark there in that double three. It's a bust from the criminal narrowly missing into the double 17 fireman for 100. Mm. 45 scored from the fireman, down to 55 now. Criminal still looking for six. Oh, God. Cannot get over the top a bust once again. Three in a row. Fireman for 55. He's got two for tops. <laughs> so you saw the point did get broken in the board there for the criminal. He pulled it out with some pliers, but it's just the 16 score for the fireman. Had a couple looks at double 20, missed into the one with his final dart. Criminal is going to miss into 17 with his first dart for the fourth bust in a row. Fireman requires 39. Can't find the double eight after finding the seven. 23 scored for the fireman. Criminal look for the basement. And it will be a bust again. So inside with the second. Went up. Hit the 18. Not sure if he was given that run at the single one a lot of effort or not. Fireman looks for double eight, and it's just inside. He can't quite convert. But again, this leg very much in the balance. Looked like Criminal had good control of it early. But the double struggles, and oh my goodness, Criminal is going to switch to the ones, finds the Madhouse a dart too soon. Fireman looking for double four, and that's going to narrowly miss as it's just below into the double 13 for a bust. Back over to Criminal. Looking for six. And this time it will be the third dart that is inside, so that's going to force him to move, leave him on the awkward little three. Fireman inside with the first two for the Madhouse. Inside on the Madhouse, but that was a brilliant attempt. It's right on the wire, just inside, but that puts him back at eight. Criminal looking for three. There's the single. Can he find the double? Looking for the Madhouse. Outside with both attempts, so it leaves, gets the clear out out of the way. Fireman looking for eight. Inside with the first. Second and he's going to find double two on the second. Game shot and the leg going to the fireman as it is now three to three. Again, we're playing all eight. So we got two legs left. Criminal to throw first. Game on. <laughs> Repat 180 is saying average killer. Clearly, Repat only joined for that last leg. <laughs> uh, King Raj 10 says, This is upsetting. Bar point 1987, tough match. Blade Mount 5 saying, Krim with the Blade Mount 5 average. The Law Dart saying, Man. 
And just 13 this time for the criminal. DJ Mike Hughes saying, I would like Krim to go back to the, d the Dimmies now, please. Well, I don't believe he can since the point broke out of one of them, so that's going to make it difficult. There's a nice 85 there from the fireman, though. So he elected to go at the top half of the board this time. Seen a lot of throws at the 19s, but he's sticking it around at the top. He's off to a good start with 60-85. Some straight darts this time from the criminal for 58. And that looks like another solid 60. So Fireman with a 68 first nine. That's almost nice. Train photo asking if he's playing with a broken dart. No, he just grabbed one of the other 500 sets that he owns. Fireman continue working. No remorse for his opponent's broken dart. 26 breakfast from the Fireman. So again, 40 viewers out there, another opportunity to answer the breakfast question. If you have not already, uh, let's pick a fruit-flavored syrup that you will put on your pancakes. That might be an 81, maybe 62. 62 it is for the criminal. Of all times to switch down from the fireman to 70, probably not the best, but uh, he did it, and it's 47. Dart slip. Whoa, that's a big slip. <laughs> and 54 this time from the criminal. Uh, this one into the treble five. And 79 okay. scored from the fireman, utilizing double 20 here. Did some math, figure out his target, switched down to 19 there. That one was good math. I like that one. Nice start. Criminal needed a treble on that last to get in checkup position. Said it's just 41. Fireman in checkup position requires 144. It will be off for start in the five, but that's a good recovery. Finding a treble 20 with the second. That looks like it's a treble three, narrowly missing the treble 19 for 74 scored. And that might have been a miss off the board for just the 39s. Fireman looking for 70. Oh, but he'll scooter dart the second one, so not going to look. The third one, maybe a 12. So just 22 scored for the fireman. Criminal. Back at, excuse me, back at 180. 60 scored for the criminal, leads the Shanghai. Fireman requires 48. Double eight. Can't find the double eight. It's eluded him all evening. Well, actually, he's gotten one finish on it, I think, but it's been a number of darts. Criminal requires 120. 60 scored down to 60. Fireman looking for 16. Inside the double four. And Jesus. that's low and inside into the 13 for another bust. Criminal. Combination 60. Set with missing the big numbers this time again. But he'll leave 32. Fireman looking for 16. Ooh, that's outside. Barely. That's a near bust into the double 16. But the disaster strikes with on the that. third dart as he hits the 11. So wishing that he had busted, in fact, that'll leave him with five. Criminal requires double 16. Now he will look at double eight. And that's just above. We've seen that a number of times from the criminal as well. Over on that double 10, he's hit double six twice. This time on the double eight, finds the double 11. Nice dart into the single one. So fireman, two darts for double two. Cannot find the double two, but back on a single dart finish with four. Criminal requires 32. It's just inside over to double eight. 
And he'll find the double eight with the second arc. Game shot in the leg going to the criminal. So he's now up four to three. We go to the final leg of this match. The fireman to throw first, looking for the tie. Game on. And that is 36 scored from the criminal. Fireman start off with 37. He'll back it up with 45. God, man, come on. 60 scored from Krim this time, finding a next door treble seven. And this one will be 60 scored for the fireman. He'll keep them all straight in his third visit. Jesus. That'll be 55 from the criminal. So speed limit the hard way. Again, drop it down, slip one into the 16. Fireman now working on 359. And it's another breakfast. So again fruit-flavored pancake syrup that you prefer. 40 scored from the criminal this time, down to 310. Fireman at 333. Both players steadily working down with that in the 40-ish average range. That looks like it's 41 this time from the fireman. Close. Close. And 41 to match from the criminal in a different way. See the, fin the fist clench of fury. 45 coming in from the fireman, so keeping pace nicely. And this one will just be 28. You can hear the old, the old chuckle. The fireman steadily plodding along. It's going to be just 29, though. So definitely some frustration in this one. I'm sure neither player wanted to make their photal seed debut this way. Not like this. Not like this. If you've got anything terribly important to say to Switch, it's just now would be a good time. Uh, oh, and there's 140 out of nowhere from the fireman going for the maximum. Respect it. Especially since it was working. No. Oh, and the criminal had a shot at it right behind, and he Robin Hoods. Oh, it's just 80, but still a Robin Hooded dart, a tight grouping, 78 remaining for the fireman. Out of nowhere, these players turn up the heat. And that is 38 scored from the fireman. Leaves tops. Criminal looking for a big 1-2-7. The first dart off the board. Seen that a handful of times tonight as well. That might be 6. No, it's 25. Fireman. Tops for the tie. Just above it. Can he get underneath or around that one? It's lying a little flat. Third dart into the 5. So it's going to have some combination cleanup work unless Criminal is able to take out 102. Again, it looks like another next door neighbor treble off of that one for 50. Oh, it was just 41. Fireman looking for that double 16. Cannot find it. The third dart skirting just outside. Narrow dart into the single three as well. One dart for tops for Krim. And he cannot convert. 21 scored. <laughs> Missing just outside as the doubles continue to be a bother. Fireman 32. Man, 
may have to go to Washi. That might be a double oh. eight. May have found a double eight with the second dart. Might be 16 scored for him. We couldn't find a second. Criminal looking for double 20. And he's going to find it tops. with the third dart. Game shot, the leg, and the match going to the criminal. 3-3 three, three tie and 5-1. Criminal had taken the first two of cricket, we recall, before Dark Neck had crashed. We're going to go to the interviews. We're going to go to the interview portion of this one. Fireman, uh, coming into this one, you know, there's been a, a little bit of playful smack talk coming in between you and the criminal leading up to this one. So talk to us about how you were feeling, what your expectations were coming in, and, you know, a little bit about the performance this evening. Uh, you know, I was really excited to get promoted up to C, and then I started looking at who all was in C, and then I kind of started getting a little worried, a little scared. Uh, wondering if I was going to have any fun this season um, because everybody in C is incredibly good. Um, a lot of talent from A that's just been in a slump has fallen down, and there's no telling when they're going to kick it back up. So I, I've been a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Um, and starting off the season with Krim after a little bit of, like you said, playful smack talk about uh, week one being on cast against uh, three-time photo champ dropping down to C and – I, I don't know. I, I was a little nervous coming into it. I'm actually kind of happy with the way it went. Um, coming down to the last leg for a potential to tie, I didn't think I'd be in that position the way I've been throwing recently. So um, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, came out with the opportunity to tie. And, you know, the way a lot of those 501 legs played out, you had a lot of opportunities to take all those. I mean, both of you, I don't think either one of you are going to dispute the fact that <laughs> we're in photo after dark now it's after 10 that was pretty, pretty shitty doubling for both we i think we could agree but uh certainly had the opportunity so how much did that at least play into maybe feeling a little bit better about it knowing that hey i am playing against the grim former three-time champion and i've gotten a bunch of looks at double uh that actually helped a lot after i got that first leg of uh 501 and i kind of saw that Maybe he might be having some double trouble today. I felt a little bit more confident until I hit some double trouble as well. And then I was just like, you know what? Who the hell knows what's going to happen? Um, it could go either way at this point. <laughs> um, neither one of us were really doing too hot throwing, so especially at doubles. So I don't know. I kind of figured once I saw that we were both going to have double trouble that it could go either way. And I was just hoping to get at least three legs off. Well, you were able to convert that. Uh, looking forward to game week two. You're on your bye week for that one. So uh, I'm going to get a question out of the – not so much as a question as a request from the um, the chat. They want to see the cat. <laughs> Fortunately, he is right here. Oh, that's a cute kitty. He is super young still, so every time I literally pick up my darts – he walks over with one of his toys, and he plays fetch better than any dog that I've ever seen. Um, he brings it back, drops it right at the Aki, and will sit there and yell at me until I throw it again. So that's what you were hearing was him demanding I play fetch faster instead of throwing darts. Well, he's got his priorities. You've got yours, uh, Fireman. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Able to pick off three despite not having your best showing. We know you'll get it turned around. You've got a lot of practice time on that board, so we'll talk to you a little bit later, and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, man. Good shooting, Krim. Yeah, I wish we could say that, but it was so fun, man. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> gonna... I, I should say nice throwing with you, Krim. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go over to Criminal in a surprisingly jovial mood, but it might be because he's drinking scotch straight out of the bottle. So, Krim, just just talk to us. Uh, first match here in Photo C now. It's been a bit of a downslide for a couple seasons now, maybe even longer than a couple for you. You know, saw a dart get broken, saw a number of things. You're drinking water, so who the hell knows what's going on over there. But uh, talk to us about the performance this evening and, you know, certainly some of the frustrations that you had. I think real life, that was the worst set of darts I've ever thrown. Like, from picking up darts the first time, I was never that bad. Uh, so that's obviously disappointing. Um Nick, uh, you know, looking forward to playing Fireman. Uh, he's a great guy, obviously, and we had a couple of fun practice matches over the offseason, fun little back-and-forth smack talks. So I'm definitely disappointed that uh, 
Yeah, the stuff is gross, by the way. <laughs> um, definitely disappointed that that was the uh, performance we ended up putting on. I, I had 69 uh, attempts at double, which is not nice in that situation. Uh, and it was just ugly. Man. I, I mean, I was I felt great coming out, and then I whatever happened to Dark Connect, it literally just spazzed on its own entirely, and... After that, my arm was like total lactic acid, and I could not get it loose again. It was so tight, and I was just yanking everything and lost all the smoothness and rhythm and flow that I had, and I just never got it back. Yeah, and again, we, we started to see that. Even in, even in some of the cricket, we saw that with a couple of scooter darts early, and then we saw you know, just kind of a random spray. So, you know, other than figuring out what that dark connect bug was and getting that report out to somebody. What, what can you do in the future in case there is an issue to prevent that lactic acid buildup and your arm from locking up? Well, I mean, I would hope there's not a 20 minute break in the next of my, in the middle of my next, uh, I don't see why there would be. So I'll just literally do the same thing I've done every other match I've ever played. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, you said there was wild darts and cricket. I don't know. I was like throwing like a basically a three zero both legs until I got to the bowl. Um, so it felt pretty good. I mean, honestly, as bad as my doubling percentage was, I didn't really feel like I was throwing bad darts at double. I fucking hit the top wire on tops like seventeen times. Missed, you know, just high on the other side of a wire on double ten a couple times. Did it on double eight, like just inside double fours, just inside double twos, just outside thing so, so I mean that was obviously pathetic but uh I don't know I don't I don't really you need to do anything I've been throwing good obviously that was complete ass cheeks but um you know uh, hopefully I won't have to have a 15 minute break in the middle of my next match and just not be able to throw anything afterwards if I could have thrown like I threw in cricket I would have been feeling fine well coming into the next week you're gonna have another one of the rookies the rolling 20s Came out with a pretty good showing for his first one, so what's what do you need to get ready for for that one? Well, I need to try to fix my dart that broke uh, so I can throw over the darts I've been practicing with. That probably will help. Um, and just do the same thing I've been doing and just literally not play the worst match I've ever played in my entire life again. Well, that would probably help, but uh, these things will happen. Criminals, despite throwing the worst match of your life, still able to take home a 5-3 victory, so congratulations on that as a consolation prize, maybe. Uh, good luck the rest of the way, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. Thanks. Uh, again, uh, good throwing with you, Fireman. Good luck the rest of the season, man. Thanks, man. We'll pop it over and to you. Radar, just... Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, and uh, Radar, you can call Billy. He's just going to use my same. Uh, he's using my Discord. Okay. So we'll pop it over to the mid screen. We're going to try to get this thing turbo set up because we, we have, we've been a little behind. It's just a fact. So I'll be right back. More darts when we return. Darts on Twitch here. FO deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for our final match of tonight's broadcast, which means we're going to do the turbo intro because it's 1030 already. So let's get it going. It's going to be a photo A division match between the players on your screen. Dilly Dilly out of Alexandria, Virginia. Last season finished sixth place in the photo A division. Hashtag Dilly Harem. Throw with the 27 gram shot darts. Viking Drakars. Going up against the train from Oak Tokes, Alberta, Canada. Last season finished fourth place in the photo A division. I don't think that's right. I don't think any of that's right. 22 gram darts corner squadron darts. Hashtag choo choo all aboard the train. Look at the standings in photo A. This is what we got so far. This is the final match of the photo A game week one. DeGrubbs in first place. King Raj in second. 16, 12, 10, 10, 8, 8, 6, 2. What we got so far. Will, will these players put up? We're going to see. Looking at the schedule again. The final match of game week one. As far as bonus points, we got King Raj and Kongra both with nine marks. King Raj with a 4.2 MPR leg. King Raj throwing a 15 dart leg. Left hand hooligan Kongra and King Raj all with 180s and the best checkout going to King Raj again. King Raj currently a stranglehold on the bonus points with all five. He's got a 106 finish. Looking at the statistics from last season, Dilly Dilly was sixth in the league in NPR with a 2.68 in cricket. The train was eighth with a 2.47 in 501. Dilly Dilly was sixth and the train was ninth. 69. Nice. 58.06 to 55.46. 
going to the split view. This is what we got going on on your screen right now. It's going to be Dilly Dilly on the left. The train is on the right. It's an A-division match. Two legs of Cricket, seven legs of 5-1, and you court for start. I don't know if that's been accomplished or uh, not yeah, yet. Sorry, I was doing some flight repair, and I got what I could. Uh, you ready to court, train? So we're going to yeah, get to yeah, watch go. the court. Right, we're going to get to watch the court here. Going to get to watch it. Barboy uh, says he's... He's ready to bet right, some yeah. beef cool. bucks. <laughs> too bad. Too bad Dilly is the one who sets that up, and he's playing, so get wrecked. So no beef bucks will bet, I don't think. Uh, Train just won the court. That was quick. So Train is going to have the darts in hand as we start off with two legs of cricket. And I'm going to assume our players are ready to go because it's half an hour past the regular start time. So Train to throw first. Game on. Too well, Dilly. Hey, you too, man. Hey, thanks for the sportsmanship. I appreciate it. And that might be a 420 blaze at start for the train. And first, second arc's pretty close, and it is 420s. So Dilly, a pretty significant dart change from last season to this season. So he's got those new shot Viking Drakkar darts. But the big thing is he went from, I think, like a 22 or 23 gram dart to a 27 gram dart. And I think these darts that he got, as there's a single 19 for the train, only showed up a day or two ago, maybe three days ago. But he hasn't had a whole lot of time to work with him. But he's he's committed, so respect the game. There's a good 419 visit from Dilly Dilly as he gets back out in front on points. Get up there, this one. Single <coughs> 20 for the train. As players trading jabs here early. Dilly's going to stack a couple of 19s on top of the treble wire, but he can't get him in that green bit. Not quite. He finds himself once again on top of points. Okay. And that's just a single 20, I think. Oh, it's actually a miss completely for the train. That first start was not in there. So <laughs> your reactions from both players <laughs> after some darts that are happening. There's a good turn from Dilly Dilly, though. Four 18s. After the second dart was into the 18, you heard the whoa. So some early reactions, some early uh, peculiar darts from these players, not necessarily up to the regular standards, just a single 20 from the train. Now Dilly Dilly's going to work on the 20 wedge. That could be a trouble 20 with the second dart. Must have been because he moved across to the 17. So it's going to be three 20s and a single 17 for Dilly Dilly. He's turned it up. So after a couple of slow starts for him, he is starting to find the troubles. Train looking to do the same. We know he likes the 17 wedge. Whoa, there's one off the board. So Train struggling with the consistency of the grouping. Just not there for him right now. He gets two 17s. Dilly, there's a treble 17. Almost had a shot at the nine, that second dart into the treble eight, just on the wrong side of the wire. He manages to put together a single 16 with his final, though. So another four-mark turn. Dilly's got the NPR up over three. That might be four 15s for the train. It's at least three, but it is the four. So that single was in the 15. And Dilly now going to move over to the 15s himself. Trying to protect his point lead. And that's going to be all three 15s for Dilly Dilly. So it does effectively get it closed. And Train's going to jump across the board now. He's looking for the 16s. It looks like a better grouping for the Train at least. Just three, though. That second dart couldn't quite deflect into the treble. Dilly very close with those first two. And it's going to be a miss from Dilly Dilly here. So Train's going to get an opportunity to inflict some punishment. And that's a good way to start. <laughs> I may have been going for the double 19. You hear the cheeky laugh after the first and second dart. Treble 16 got the 17s closed because he only needed a single. Dilly with a single 19 is enough to put him back in the point lead, but he stays for all three to add to it, and he'll find a pair to get back out in front by 26. The 
Train looks like he'll only get a single, though, so it's not enough to put him back in the lead. I mean, Dilly Dilly could still work on the 16. I mean, could have worked on 16 last time, could work on 16 any time. But anyway, there are two of them. So Dilly's got the 16s closed. All that remains now is the bull for him. Train trying to get the bull closed. Whoa. Jeez. That is a spray of darts, but may have found a stray 18. So at least one good miss in there. Dilly looking for three bulls to finish this first leg out. And a treble 19 with the last. So didn't like his look at the bull after the first two darts. Drops down to the 19s, finds a nice treble. And that's at least one, if not two, bulls. It's a single for the train. Gilf says that the train looks like Ken Jennings. All right. I can see that a little bit. There's two bulls from Dilly, so he is just one away. So the train certainly pressure on to get something going, but he needs, he needs a lot. It looks like it might be a miss again for the train. Oh, he did get two in there, so there we go. He got two. Got it closed. Dilly's looking for one for the finish. Cannot find it. Stray 19 to add some points. But Train now with the bulls closed. He's going to need four to take the point lead. Perhaps a single bull this time. And Dilly will find a single with his second game shot and the leg going to Dilly Dilly. As he is now up one to nothing. He gets the hold throw in the first leg of cricket. Train, or correction, it was a break of throw. Forgot that. Yeah, Train won the cork. Whoopsies. So Dilly's got the darts in hand as he comes back to the board, coming off the win. Game on. Covered from my new Three pointies, one nine. A triple 20 and a single 19 there from Dilly Dilly starting off with a four mark. DJ Mike Hughes says he's always had his eye on the shot Birds of Prey set. I have a set of the shot darts. All right. They're kind of crazy. They got some, like, interesting grip patterns. But they're trying new things. They're just very expensive. They ain't cheap. And Dilly close Dilly is going to close 19. He's got a single 18, so it's another three mark to back it up. Found the treble 19 with the second, but Train had been able to get the 19s closed on his first visit. And that looks like three 17s for the Train, so back-to-back -back three marks for the Train. Dilly's going to stay to work on the 18s, try to get them closed as well. And he'll be successful in doing so. Two 18s with darts one and three. Again, pretty close to that treble, but no cigar. Train's going to put on points here in the 17 wedge. And it looks like it's going to be five 17s coming in for the train. So nicely done there. 85 points scored by the train. Going to force Dilly back to the 20s to score. He could have scored on the 18s as well, so he's got two wedges open. Just, one 20. Just a single 20, though. Cannot get it going. Looks like he may have gone for the 18s on the last after blocking himself. So it looks like a single 20 and single 17. Oh, that is a treble 20 for the train with that second dart. So he gets the 20s closed. So it was a five mark for four. Dilly back on the 18s. Manages just a single, so when Dilly's needed the points, they have not been there. Just two, a couple of singles for him where the train has been finding the trebles to score. And just a <coughs> single 17 this time for him. But still, he's got a pretty healthy lead. Dilly going to need a treble to get back in this one for the point battle. And all of them are right around it. Three good darts, but it's just 54 points. So now the train feeling a little bit of pressure potentially, but he's going to stay on the 18s. He gets two of them, so not closed, not yet. 
Still really lurking, but still work to do. But that is a great first start. Well, it's going to be four 18s for Dilly Dilly. Tried for the hero dart with the second, but he missed the 17s. Four 18s gets him back out in front. So it's been a battle for him on points. There's a great grouping from the train. Three 17s all stacked up in the fat part there. 51 more points. Now he is back up by a mark, up by six points. Dilly, another brilliant trouble with his second dart. Looks like back-to-back -back four marks for Dilly Dilly. Four more 18s for him, add on 72, but the train's right back in the trouble, 17 with his first. Uh. And it looks like train's gonna back up with a four mark of his own. No, it's a six oh, mark. No, you're, sorry, can you go back for me? Yeah, you're right, it was four. So he thought it yeah, was six, it, was it is four. So Dilly's gonna correct the score for him rather than just sending the board back. So four 17s for the train. Thank you, sir. But it's enough no to get problem. him back out in front. Again, by just a little bit, by two. But again, dealing with that first start into the trouble. And it's going to be a five mark for Dilly Dilly. Three 18s, two 15s. But now all of a sudden, Dilly Dilly in fuego on that treble 18. That first start for three consecutive visits now has been in the treble. And this time it's the train who can't keep up just a single 17. So opportunity for Dilly to strike, and he will take it. First dart's in the single 17. It's a big second dart into the treble. 16, back-to-back -back five marks now for Dilly Dilly. Getting locked in. Single 17, treble 16, and a single 15. So closed off the train on the 17s. Closed off the 16s immediately. Train's moving over to 15s. Just a single over there, had a couple of close darts in that 10, but could not get it started. Dilly's gonna get two, almost found the trouble. That was kind of a weird deflection as well. Went all the way across, but it still stayed in the single, which again, gets another wedge close, gets Dilly one step closer. He's moving to the bull, so is the train. There is a single bull for him with his last dart. Dilly once again moving to three. Two. Gets two. Couldn't quite find the bullseye on that last start. Goes just below it. Urgency on the train's part. He gets a single with his first. It's not enough, Dilly, but needs just one. Second dart. And he'll get it with the second dart. Game shot and the leg going to nice, Dilly Dilly. Nice, tidy second leg. Got off to a slower start, but was able to battle back thanks in part to three consecutive visits with the treble 18 on the first. Train to throw first as we move to 501. Game on. <laughs> oh. And that looks like a yo 11 to start for the train. <laughs> And it's just 24 for the punishment from Dilly. That looks like a better shot from the train. 60 scored for him this time, living just above that treble. And there is a breakfast from Dilly Dilly. Single five, single 20, and a single one. As he gets the breakfast poured in on the second throw of his 501 here in uh, the winter 2021 season. There's an ace 81 from the train. And as you can tell, I'm stalling because, again, I am not sure what. All right, all my questions have been pancake-based, so might as well stick with it. Uh, 32 viewers out there, pancakes or waffles, some sort of batter. Anyway. If you're going to put chocolate chips in your pancakes or waffles, whatever they may be, what kind of chocolate are you using? Is it going to be dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate? What kind of chocolate chips are you putting in your pancakes? 32 viewers out there, let me know. There 
Here's 41 from the train. So after that 11 start, he's got it back to a pretty respectable number here. He's got his average up to 59 after 15. Dilly trying to work something in there too. Maybe a 1-2-1. One, one. It is a 1-2-1. One, one. He somehow got that third dart in the treble 20 wedge. Snug it in the corner next to his adjacent dart. That looks like another 41 back back 41. No, that's a ton from the train. So that second dart into the treble. Now the train now down at 108 with Dilly with 121. Can't follow it up. Just 28 scored. Train requires 108. And it looks like the train electing to find the 18 to leave 32. Didn't want the bullseye there. So he'll come back to the board looking at 32. Dilly back at 246. Needs trouble to get off finish. Forty-seven leaves one hundred and ninety-nine. Train requires thirty-two. Yeah, and he'll find it with the third dart game shot, and the leg going to the train. As this time, he will get a hold of throw here in the first leg of five o one. Tidy twenty-four darter. <laughs> Dilly Dilly will have the darts in hand for the second leg of 501. Game on! I'm going to throw four scores in the 20, 121. <laughs> That's second again. <laughs> oh, sorry, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, King Raj says M&M's. Okay, well, white chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, what kind of M&M's? Again, that's kind of the point. I kind of wanted to just see what everyone... But everyone's chocolate preferences was, and I was phrasing it in terms of breakfast question. Also, chocolate chip pancakes are delicious. Zilla says he doesn't like chocolate, so we'll take it for blueberries, please. What if you put, like, espresso chips in there? I've got espresso chips in my pantry. Those are good. Actually, they're not. I didn't find them that good. They were kind of weird, but Dilly's going to match the 11. Uh, Kilv says white chocolate is ass cheeks. I mean, white chocolate is pretty much sugar, but... Again, people can like what they like. Blade my five finally with an answer says milk chocolate or semi sweet. Five one suddenly bad. Uh, Kilf says I've never tried dark chocolate in breakfast pastries though. Might need to give it a try. Uh, dark chocolate, if you ask me, is the best chocolate. Come out, come at me. DC Dubes, thanks for joining the chat, but he's joining Oz on the no chocolate train. Interesting. Interesting. Elisard, he's going to get on an actual answer. Milk chocolate in the pancakes. Uh, Fireman's going milk chocolate. Fireman speculating, though. He says, I prefer dark chocolate, but I feel like it would be too bitter in a waffle. All right. There's a nice 100 from the train as I peer back. Fireman says, what about the peanut butter chips like they have at uh, WAHO? I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, some sort of some sort of like chip. Yeah, that's fine. I'll accept peanut butter chips. That's fine. There's back-to-back -back 100s for the train. Once again, that one, that 11 start and then turning it on here and turns four and five. Dilly, there's a better visit from him, 60. We've seen some more consistent darts out of him, 58, 58, 60 here, but he needs to start finding the trebles. The train is getting a rolling. There might be three straight 100s. Oh, just 81. That third dart is wide of the mark. But it'll leave him 108 once again. And 21 from Dilly Dilly, so go ahead and take a drink of your adult beverage. Another thing we do here in the FODL. Train requires 108. And it will be 44, it looks like, from the train. Down to 64. Dealy trying to find a big score here. And it looks like...
looks like it's going to be 36 from Dilly Dilly. Leaves in 180. It's a train. Where is it? Whoa. Come? Looks like Train got the 28 there, left 36, had a dart at the double 18, but missed. But he'll come back to the board. How close will Dilly be? Matters about this third dart. 55 scored for Dilly Dilly, leaves 125. The Train requires 36. That may be into the double four. Yeah. So across the board, and the train's going to go double, double, double four over to double 14. Game shot and the leg going to the train as he has leveled this match at two legs apiece, getting the break of throw here in 501, as well as the beverage crack, which means we are back on throw, and the train has darts to throw first. Game on. <laughs> didn't start off with 11. This time it's going to be 28 for the train, so didn't start off with 11, he liked to remark, so will that be a bad omen? Hey, hey there's 100 scored from Dilly Dilly to start it off, so maybe the 11 start is the omen for the train. It lures Dilly into that false sense of security. He's like, oh, well, he just started off with 11. I'm in good shape. Over 28 and 30, also not a great start, but Dilly didn't care. He threw the 100 to start. He's just above that treble again, so Dilly backs up the 100 with 60. He's off to a good start this time. Ellis starts saying beautiful double-double cleanup. Giddy up. And 41 this time from Train, so... After nine, still left above 400. Not something you see every day, especially not in the A division. And there's another breakfast from Dilly. So if you didn't answer the question yet, uh, some sort of chocolate chip or flavored, like, melty chip thing that you would put in pancakes or waffles. So you've had some other options out there, like peanut butter chips or espresso chips that have been thrown out. But, you know, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, semi-sweet, white chocolate, some sort of, you know, like baking sweetened chip that you would put in your pancakes or waffles. Let me know. Only a handful of people answer this one. I thought it would be a better question, but I, there's also a couple people in there that don't like chocolate, which kind of blows my mind too. But eh, that's neither here nor there. Nice third dart from Dilly Dilly to salvage that one for an 85. Now it's the train. And so Dilly Dilly and the train kind of reversing roles in this leg where the train got up to a slow start and now is throwing a couple of steadier turns with 60-61 where it's Dilly Dilly got off to a good start and then another good visits here in the middle range in five and six. And there it is, a 180 from Dilly Dilly was on the 185, but he says, give me that go bonus point as he gobbles it up a maximum from dilly dilly to leave himself five there's a nice 68 from the train but he's still outside so dilly dilly gonna have to clean up five now it's in the one so looking for double two and he goes pop pop after the maximum game shot and the leg to dilly dilly 185 and five darts the uh, most traditional way you could do it there. So cleans it up. The 180 is not deterring as he gets the five finish for the break of throw. Dilly dilly to throw first. Game on. My plan is to still have the most 180s this season. He says he wants to have the most 180s again this season. Well, you're still one behind Congra. There's a breakfast start up for Dilly Dilly. So again, Not wrong. breakfast question. Some sort of sweetened bacon baking chip. So like milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, espresso chips. What kind of chips are you putting in your pancakes and or waffle batter? 
Come on. Bar Boy, 1987 says, well, that was pretty good. Fuck. 66 scored from the train. Bar Boy, 1987, posing the question, over under one week where the bonus point A is not a 180. I'm going to say more often than not, it's going to be. I'm going to say that it's going to be a surprise if it's not. But it could be like a 177. I can also see that happening too. There is 60 scored for the train. So once again, he's got a first nine above that 50 mark at 57. Dilly Dilly back below it. Uh, there's a nice 59. So again, the 26-22 start doesn't help, but 80-59 start to get turned around a little bit, but he's still chasing the train here against the darts. That might be 95 scored from the train, so it does get that third one in there. Just 80, oh, 66, in fact, for Dilly Dilly. Thought it was an 85, but it was 66. Had the first one in there, a tough deflection with the second, kicked it over to the five, and the third one was well right of the mark. That might be another breakfast. No, it's 31, so it found the double five. Did the train. And a nice ton from Dilly Dilly gets himself onto a finish down to 148. Train looking to join him if he can. And that might just be 26. I don't know. 24, so single five, single one. It was pretty close. Couldn't tell if it was a single or a treble one. So 24 scored this time from the train. Dilly requires 148, which will be off. And it will be just 14. Teen score from Billy. Train not yet on a finish at 180. Uh, 43. 43 this time from the train. Dilly Dilly requires 134. Nice setup work from Dilly Dilly. 94 scored there. Finding the treble 18 with the last to set up tops. Train 137, which is off. And that looks like 40. So found that treble one to the train. Dilly looking for 40. That's inside over to the rascal. And the Rascal will say yes, maybe for the first time this season. Game shot and the leg to Dilly Dilly. As he now gets back up 4-2. to two. So Dilly had 1-2. Then the train 1-2. Now Dilly has 1-2. Can the train respond? He'll have the darts in hand. Game on. Kilf says he made a ton of toffee before the oven broke last month, and he puts it in everything. And then the question asked, is it fixed? And Kill says it's finally fixed as of about yesterday. But he doesn't want to tell us what the problem is, which means it was probably something stupid, so I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Train off to a good start this time. 91 instead of 11. It still ends with a 1, so maybe that's the key. This time it'll be 43. Dilly after the 60 goes 45. Again, this one's been pretty competitive back and forth. You see the averages there, 54, 53. We've seen some explosive darts. We've seen some not so explosive darts. But speaking of the explosive darts, 140 from the train. So he gets back into it. So looking to once again put a string of two together, which would force the last leg decider, which I think we all want. Who doesn't want the last leg decider? There's 28. I guess Dilly Dilly probably doesn't want the last leg decider at this point since he's up 4-2. But Train looking to make it happen. That might be another 100 scored. I was going to say it's at least 85. Couldn't tell that third one. That could have been 85, a 140, a 95, or... 
what it was, which was 100. 60 scored this time from Dilly, but the train on a finish after 12, 127. That looks like it's just below that treble 19. Yuck. And I think it's going to be 40 scored from the train for this one down to 87. Again, Dilly's still above 300 at this point, so he will need a big turn to get any pressure applied. 57 scored from Dilly. It's a solid visit, but again, doesn't do a whole lot for him right now. Train requires 87. And Train's going to score 37. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? Um, yeah, let me, I'll take care of that. <laughs> so the train thought he had tops left. In fact... All right, hit back again, train. Because you entered in a, a mid for me. Well. Yeah, so train hit back one more time. Uh, I fixed it on my end. Should be good, no? Yeah, let me... Here, I'll just, I'll, let me throw this around. I'll just edit it like this. We'll, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be 30 from Dilly, so he'll grab the control of the right, matches. Right, the there we go. Now we're back. All good? Yep. So now we're back. Sorry, guys. Train requires 50. It is. 50. 50. We'll have one dart looking for double 16. And it goes inside. So left with 16 remaining. 34 scored. Dilly is back at 2 2 1. And from the reaction, that's got to be a trouble one just on the wrong side of the wire. All right. Recovered. But that's a good recovery. It's going to be 111, I believe, from Dilly Dilly. <laughs> but it's not going to matter. It's the train's going to find the double A with the first start. Game shot and the leg going to the train. He takes out a nice 22 dart or so. He gets it right back. So Dilly Dilly's going to have the darts throwing, potentially to have the match. Game on. Train looking to get, again, the back-to-back -back, uh, two legs in a row victory, which has been all we've had so far. We've had streaks of two. Train looking to make that happen to go to a last leg decider. Dilly looking to break that streak to secure a victory. He's going to start things off with 76. Let's see. So the Kilf said uh, what we got. So, all right. So the oven actually broke and it needed a part replaced. The Appliance tech did that, but after he did it, the guy was like, actually, there's no power coming in from the plug. You need an electrician. Finally found an electrician to come. He takes one look at the breaker switch and pushes it further into the off position rather than neutral and then turns it back on. And I got to Venmo him $60 while he laughed in my face at the end. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Nice one, two, five from Dilly Dilly. King Raj jumping in there. So the breaker was tripped and you didn't know how to reset it. Kilf says he asked him, his wife, and the appliance repair guy all toggled the switch on from neutral and back, but apparently there's a, a third step to actually do a hard reset. That's good stuff. This leg off to a really good start for both players. We'll get back to the darting action. Dilly Dilly with a 93 first nine. Train with a 76 first nine. Oh, and there's a bounce out. See ya. Just 24 from Dilly Dilly. That's going to hurt the average a little bit. But again, he's right on Train's average for this leg so far. So let's see what Train can put in. That one's close, but it's just 60, just above that treble. So Dilly's still going to have an opportunity to be the first onto a finish. And he'll score 44 to leave himself 154. Get his f average for this leg into 69. Nice. Well, there's a bounce out from the train as well. See ya. Contemplate. 
contemplating, contemplating, doing the math, and it's going to be 80. He needed the treble. He found the treble. Down to 133. Dilly, 154. It's on. Oh, he couldn't find the treble 18, so it is now off. But a good effort a third of the way there from Dilly Dilly. Whoa. Maybe a 98 there? Maybe an 81? 79? Looking at 133, won't connect. And I think that's going to be 39. It's 41, so found the treble one there. Dilly dilly looking for 75. Dilly giving the bullseye a run, but that's going to go just outside. 50 scored for Dilly Dilly. Couldn't find the red bit. Terrain requires 92. Looks like we have a dark ah. Double 18. That might be a next door double four once again. He did that earlier this match as well. Leaves him 28. Dilly now has to clean up 25. There's the nine, now double eight. There it is. And he'll go pop, pop for the finish. Game shot the leg yeah. to Dilly Dilly. He will guarantee himself a match victory up five to three. But in the regular season here in the FODL, we're going to play all nine, which means we got one leg left to go. The train has the darts in hand. Game on. And there's a 140 to start things off for the train. Knows how important in a very competitive Photal A division this last leg is. Again, every leg worth two points apiece in the standing. So 140 is a brilliant start for the train. Dilly's going to get started off with 60. Certainly not to be sneezed at. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Whoa. That 27. Looks to be 27 scored. Finding a double two. Don't see that one a whole lot in the scoring in the scoring area, but it, uh, these things will happen. 45 scored from Dilly Dilly. The beef box getting paid out there. As Dilly Dilly Come secured on. the win. A lot of money actually on Dilly Dilly. 158.2. Or 152.8 beef bucks. And 40 scored from Dilly. So the train, another 70 first nine. Dilly, another sub 50 first nine. So Dilly's been kind of all over the place this evening. Train, been a little bit more steady. Although he's had his ups and downs as well. And it's 55, so the speed limit. Dilly Dilly can't drive it. Well, he could drive it. He just chooses not to drive because it doesn't go anywhere anymore. I don't, I guess that, that might have been a bag of food, maybe. Maybe that's what that was. I couldn't really tell. It's pretty well shadowed. 36 this time for the train. He gets under 200, but still not on a finish. Dilly trying to chase him down. And that looks like a 1-2-1, one, one, so that's certainly going to help get him right back into this leg. So both players in this one with a two treble visit. Big time stuff here in the photo A division. And maybe a 66 here. From the train, found that trouble 20 with the last, needed it. Dilly back at 180. He's trying to come into checkout position as well. Not great first two, but could still get there. And he'll score 24, which is enough. Gets him down to 156. The train, though, requires 132.
140 scored this time from the train. He gets under 100. Dilly likes the big checkout. It's going to get one. He cannot, so missed the treble. Number 156. But it's a good 100 scored. Brilliant third dart over the top line nicely. Get him out in front. So pressure on the train for this 92. First starts into the one. So he's not going to be able to do it. He'll get down to 68 remaining after that 24. Dilly requires 56. Inside over to the Rascal. And the Rascal will say yes. Game shot and the leg and the match to Dilly Dilly. He takes out the 56 finish to make it 6 to 3 in his favor. We'll go to the interview portion of this match. We will start with the train whenever he gets himself situated, as he is wont to do here. Cedar Wall. There we go. Oh, God. Things get knocked over. We're going over to the train. Train coming out to start the the photo campaign here in the winter season. No, it's cold up there in Canada, so maybe hunkering down, throwing some darts. Talk to us about how you felt you threw this evening and what you were doing to prepare in the off season. Um, yeah, I, practicing was uh, was pretty good today. I probably did too much of it. Uh, by the time by the time we got on cast there, I my arm was kind of feeling like jelly, and then uh, you know pretty slow in, in, in cricket. Um, took me a while to get, you know, get my bearing, but uh, I kind of fought back in 501. I thought I was going to, you know, really take it to him, but he, his checkouts were amazing. So um, yeah, it was a good match. I uh, feel like, you know, I kind of lost my scoring uh, in some of those legs, which hurt me. So um, yeah. And bad math. <laughs> bad math uh, that will happen. So, you know, we talked about, a, a little bit with, you know, you said that practice is going well, maybe through a little bit too much where the arm was going to jelly. You know, you were watching a little bit of the first couple of matches that we had that obviously they, they took a while. It wasn't, wasn't everybody's, you know, best showing, but it, it kind of delayed this one. Cause I mean, you guys were a good half hour late on the start time. Did that have anything to do with potentially the over warming up or the over practicing beforehand? I, uh, you know, it's up to me if I throw darts or watch TV or watch the cast. So I can't, I can't blame them for, for the, for my arm being overthrown a little bit, but you know, it's, uh, I kind of thought, you know, like I just said, I was pretty, I was, I was pretty dialed into the 60 there. And then when we, you know, play cricket right away and I'm not throwing at twenties anymore, I'm throwing at 19s or 18s. I've missed so many times. It was so bad Then I get flustered and it's in my head. So, uh, I need to work on that if I want to stay up in A. Um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a fun road for me if I continue like that. I mean, all said and done, and first of all, you can always blame things on the criminal. That's that's a fact of life. <laughs> uh, looking at, you know, you look at what the what it ended up. You still came in with a 58 average. So if that's, you know, you on a quote unquote off night in 501, that's still pretty good. Looking forward into next week, you're gonna have the surgeon. Did I look at that right or did I look at that wrong? Let me look. Yes, you are going to have the surgeon on the docket. So what's the game plan to get ready for that one? I think I'm going to practice cricket for the first time in my life. I don't usually practice cricket. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get out of the gates with, you know, splitting cricket instead of always <laughs> being down two legs and then having to fight back, which was pretty much every match last season. So um, I'm going to practice a little bit of that and, you know, of course, doubles and, and scoring a little bit, but, uh, I'm going to see what I can do there and hopefully, uh, not drop two legs to surgeon, uh, at the very start of that match. So that's my goal. That's always a good plan. We'll see if you can put it into action, not the result you're looking for, but still some good moments from your train and some good darts throughout. We'll talk to you a little bit later and good luck the rest of the way. Cheers. Good cast. Awesome darts. Dilly. Nice 180. Hey, appreciate that. You too, man. We're going to on the 180. We good darts. <laughs> We're going to go over to Dilly Dilly now. 
as he comes in, taking out a 6-3 victory. You know, got off to that great start in cricket. Things were looking good. And then this first couple legs of 5 of one you know, it was uh, a little dicey where he kind of he, he got back into that one to level at 2-2. Two, two. So talk to us about, you know, what your expectations were coming into this one and how you felt you performed. Yeah, I mean, it's regular season dilly-dilly, so therefore I'm usually pretty good. It's also, <laughs> this is NFG season completely. I'm going full NFG. Um, you know, I took, you know, I'm back to the shirt. No longer wearing the uh, the hoodies and stuff. Like that, like it's sort of like you're dropping the weights before a big match, like your Goku in the Tenkaichi Budokai or like Rock Lee in the Chunin exams. I took off the weights and I threw well. That's just what happens. You get better when you take off the training weights. I forgot to do that against noobs. That's why I lost. Um, no, I, I, I knew coming in it was going to be fun. Uh, I had less than a week of practice with those darts. And so far I've thrown four 180s with them. Uh, so I love them. I love these darts. Absolutely. And so I knew it was going to be a tough one. Train always, he always pushes me. I think we always go 5-4. This one just kind of went my way, and I was pretty appreciative of it. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that because, you know, last season, you know, playoffs notwithstanding, regular season, probably the best season you've ever had. And coming out of that, elect to make a dart change less than less with, with only a couple days before the season starts so obviously you know practice things must have been going well for you to commit to that change but it's also a change in the weight so what what prompted you to try something significantly heavier than your old darts which you know you were also throwing pretty well oh, boredom. <laughs> <laughs> i boredom i want to i'm bored dude darts are so lame all right the problem with those darts the problem with darts that are just silver that are just the plain metallic looking color. There's nothing to them. They're lame. They're boring. I threw those for three or four seasons. I hated every moment of it. Yeah, I threw them okay. But like every time I saw them in the board, I'm like, oh, oh, these are awful. And then, you know, I there was one time that I used to throw heavy darts. We had old heavies back when we first started playing like three years ago. And I loved those, but I, I wasn't comfortable with them. And so I just wanted to get back into heavyweight. And it's awesome. So the new darts, one, when it's heavy, even if I kind of light throw and mess it up, the weight of the dart will carry it still to the board, and it'll give me a good throw some, uh, almost every time regardless. Uh, so I at least get up there. Second, it's, it's, it's new, though. It's back-weighted, uh, so I have to change my grip a little bit, which is why there was definitely some wonky darts. Those first two legs of uh, 5 one just somehow my grip started going off, and I had to get it back after that. But uh, no, it's... I was so bored. I, I just wanted something different. I, I just, dude, I hate boring darts. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I hate them. But it's also funny, the juxtaposition of it, your first question, talking about taking the training weights off like, like Goku, and then the second thing you talk about it, with the darts change is just increasing the weight of the dart. So, <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> so you know, the sweater added, you know, with 40 pounds on each arm, so I had to somehow balance that weight. That's fair. That's fair.